Save your life for a second. And let that... Eh, hiciste... Lo mismo. Pero espera, no nos piches tantas veces. Páralo, si quieres vuelves a comenzar. Creo, aquí yo ya, a mí ya me ha salido. Ah, no, pero ahí está. Hola. Hey, everyone. Hola. No. How's everyone doing? Uh, for some reason, YouTube is not working on our end. No sé, no sé por qué no nos está funcionando a nosotros. Voy a refrescar la página. Espero sí. que no se cierre, si no, ya volvemos. Sí. Si se cierra, es, es que no nos sale... Ah, listo. Hola a todos, ¿ya? Uy. Hey, everyone, we had a problem. We weren't able to see the stream. stream. Yeah. Yeah. But... Everything's good now. Everything's fine now. Hello, Danielita. Hello, Nicolito. Happy New Happy Year. Happy New Year. 2022. Yeah. No me has dicho. Feliz año, uh, Daniel. Es que no me habías dicho. No me lo dijiste. Um, ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. So people don't know, but uh, we've slept for uh, a week. Yeah, so after our uh, 24 hour live session. Um, Actually, and... you didn't sleep that much. No, I didn't. I, I mean... slept for uh, two hours. And, and then I, I couldn't go back to uh, sleep. So it was... Uh, It was, uh, what did you think? What did you? What are your thoughts of that day? Because we haven't spoken about hours? that. Yeah. Well, it was... Um, Different? It was fun. <laughs> it was fun, yeah. It was fun. It, it was, was actually was fun. really fun, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say it wasn't as bad as I imagined. Yeah. Um, it was a little weird mm -hmm. after we end the stream. My yeah. My body... Was like tired but energetic at the same time. Yeah. So that was weird, but no, it was it was a lot of fun, and I appreciated a lot all the people that were here. Oh yeah, amazing. Us. Yeah, keeping yeah. us up. So that yeah, was... that was amazing. We we I mean, you and I can keep each other company really well. I feel. Yeah, but of course. if we weren't accompanied by everyone that was that was there. It would, it would have, have been, been a lot more very difficult. difficult yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I th on on my end, I think I was. I mean, I could sense it with my painting. I think I I had a a really nice kind of painting in the zone uh, area of the uh, 24 hours, mm -hmm. where it just felt like I just felt like I was comfortable painting, mm -hmm. and there's. You know, the latter part of painting is where you are fighting through the uncomfortable, you know, um, moments and, and you're just pushing yourself to paint. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know how that reflects on the paintings. I mean, when I see all of them, I just see a bunch of paintings that, that we did uh, during that span of time. But I don't see them as better or worse. I don't see that. No, I mean, they just, I mean, and not only that uh, paintings of that session, but... Every painting just speaks of the state of mind you are in at the moment you're painting. So Yeah, I mean, yeah. And happening. I think these are uh at least for me, internally, like I feel they are quite a uh they're very honest of that, you know, that the struggle, the pushing mm -hmm. through the uh those kind of physical limitations. Yeah. Because I, I was very surprised that I wasn't really like my eyes weren't tired. Uh, like Your surprisingly. Hand was. Yeah, my body wasn't tired either. Either, mm -hmm. Like, you know, mentally, I think, I mean, I was saying stupid stuff, but <laughs> it's hard to determine if that was the 24 hours, so that's just me. Mm -hmm. That's just my regular me. Uh, but as you saw with, with my hand, um, I never expected my hand to hurt so much. Never. I never, because I've painted. I mean, 
come on, I've, I've painted forever. So it's, um, I, I kind of know the pain of painting, mm -hmm. um, but I had never, what I had never done is painted at such a pace. Yeah. Uh, and I think that it's very different from just saying, I'm going to paint, you know, I'm going to spend the whole night painting. Oh, and for sure. Yeah, because you break and you walk yeah. around, you step back, then you paint a little bit, then you step back. Or when you, you, you tend to answer to your body, like when you feel tired, you just probably step back for a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at your phone and then you go back to painting. Yeah. So you, you pace yourself a little bit better. But in pushing, I realized my hand, oh my God, my hand was was shot. I mean, it was gone. Um, in the last paintings, I, I would say in the last probably five or four paintings, it's, you know, when I started painting, the pain started about at three, four, five minutes into the painting. And it was really painful. Like it was, um, I started, what I tried to do was just not hold my brush so firmly. Yeah just so not to put pressure on my brush. Yeah. Because I, I guess this doesn't help the fact that I hold, you know, my pencil this way um, and I put extra and pressure. My grip is horrible. Hard? Yeah, my I grip is that. terrible. Yeah. I, I grab my brushes really, really hard. I, yeah. I don't have like a super light touch. Mm -hmm. So um, that didn't help. But that was surprising to me. Like I have never felt, I mean, I've, I've, I've talked about openly about um, uh, elbow pain that I've had wrist pain that I've had, mm -hmm. uh, shoulder pain that I recently had, that I'm coming out of it, but I'm not there. I'm not 100% at all, no, but, but, you're better. but I'm better. I'm, yeah. I'm so, so much better. I would say I'm like 80%. You know, I still feel pain in my shoulder, but I know that, it, you know, if I look back like month after month, like I can see it subsiding. So I know that maybe in six months I'm going to be fine. Um, so that's fine. So that I know that that's not something that I'm going to have to like say, oh my God, I need surgery or something like that. Like it hasn't gotten worse. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I didn't stop working. So if, you know, I thought, oh my God, if I keep the, the, like all this rhythm going, my, my shoulder is just going to give in and, and it's going to be terrible. Yeah. But no, no, no. I think it's healing by itself, um, pretty nicely. So I just have to be a little more patient. Um, and but yeah. Hand? Yeah, but How is but it today? oh, good, good. I showed you that. Th oh, it was the, weird. Yeah, yeah the morning, you, morning afterwards, I you showed like you this little, you know, uh, like joint here. Um, it was like inflamed. It was like super yeah. inflamed, super super inflamed. That hand with the other hand. Oh it yeah, like it was. Yeah, it was crazy, and it was it was painful. Weird. So yeah, yeah, it was pretty painful. But um, but no, other than that, I mean. I was I was surprised. I I if it wasn't for hand pain, I can tell you right now, I could have gone probably twelve more hours. Yeah, no. No, I know, <laughs> I know, but it like truth, like just listening to my body, I could have probably gone for way more time. Yeah. For way way well. more time. Like I I I saw it because when you know the next day I was I I I slept from like not even not it wasn't even two hours. It was like eight thirty to ten. That's why I remember waking up at 10 and, uh, and I was fine. I was like, okay, that's, you know, yeah, but well, fine, quote unquote. Kind of like I was, yeah, yeah it was groggy. weird. It yeah. was weird. Like your mind is weird. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, yeah, I, I thought it was, um, I mean, we're not repeating it for sure. No. We're not doing this again. Um, but I thought it was very interesting. Yeah. Super, super interesting to feel that. And it was you know. an amazing closure to Yeah, it was very nice. I thought it was very, very nice. Okay. People were amazing. They reacted super nice super, super nicely. Uh, I don't know if you've thought about that, but uh we worked for two years. Yeah. Which is twenty four months. So oh, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24 is twenty four is twenty eight hashtag. <laughs> yeah. You know, you missed that one. That but one it was, was super. Twenty eight is twenty four, not twenty four. That one was super, okay. super easy. That one was right there, Danielita. So this is our first one, uh, Danny, for for next year. Yeah, and also it's a very different. The one. Monday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what we're doing, Danielita? Yeah, because yeah, I was going to say hinted. that maybe, could, maybe, yeah. uh, Nicolas, Nicolas's head is going to pop a little bit more, but it's because we change all the setup. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that? No, it's been popping a little. Okay, yeah. Here, people oh, people there, will be fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'm sure. Because this one's a larger painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're actually, painting. 
painting twice the size that we usually paint. Yeah. This is actually the size of the moleskin um, A3. I think it's an A3 sketchbook. Mm -hmm. So um, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's very interesting. And how we did it, we thought for a while buying a um, a zoom lens mm -hmm. that would have a wide angle. Um, at the uh, widest part of the zoom lens, um, I particularly like zoom lenses that are also macro lenses. There's a Tamron that's I think a twenty eight seventy five that is also a macro lens. But those lenses go for like 800 bucks. So they're expensive. They're, they're very expensive. Um, and I actually have lenses that I used that I have, I have like Canon glass because I had uh, a 5D. So I looked into it and there's a Sigma adapter for uh, Canon EF lenses. And I was like, I should give that a try. You know, that's not as expensive as the, um, as the uh, zoom lens. And I could actually try to see how it works with, with the uh, lenses that I had. So that's what we're trying out today. This is actually a really nice, this is one of those, I mean, 10, 15 years ago, 15 years ago, I'd say, it was a very nice Canon lens. It's the 35 F, oh my God, what is this? F12, F18? It actually opens up like crazy. It's one of those, you know, gorgeous, gorgeous Canon lenses that just lets so much light in. But it's a 35, so we're actually, um, still on fixed, um, fixed focal lengths and, um, and we'll see. There is an issue I've noticed. I noticed this, Danny, cause I, I took a bunch of photographs just mm -hmm. to, to, just to try things out. We haven't tried it in video actually. So this would yeah, be the first time first we tried time. it in video. It's looking pretty good. Do you think I so? Say, yeah. I hope you like, people can tell us if it looks okay, but, um, there's a, a bit of vignetting. I, I thought I, I noticed. So. Uh, the corners of of the um, of what you're seeing, actually, because we're cutting, because we're cropping. No, but look. In the, uh, one... that happened when you were using it for photos. Right, but, but because of the of the crop portion? that happens when when you go to the uh, uh, 1920 by 1080. Yeah. It yeah. Looks so good. it eliminates it, uh, kind of. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that OBS has a setting that you can uh, adjust vignetting. I'm super positive yeah that I that, look into that yeah that that later. exists so I, I i think that that would be easily um easily fixed and the other thing is that it's actually a little soft um i like it can focus but i've noticed that uh it's really weird um that the let's say you're focusing you know very in a, a very narrow um, area like let's say f28 uh usually it didn't feel that narrow in my Canon. It, I mean, it, you, you know, F2.8 is pretty narrow, but everything else, it, you wouldn't just get bokeh like immediately afterwards. And I've noticed that I think, I mean, I would have to look into it, but the Sigma converter seems to, um, seems to make that like exacerbate that. Mm -hmm. It just makes everything looks like you'll have a focus area and everything else looks super soft, like super, super soft. So we have to work around that, but we don't have enough light in our setup that that's something that we have to change or we want to get better at uh, this year. Mm -hmm. um, and in order to use like a, a like a higher f-stop because we're right now we're at f4, five, do you remember? F4, f4, five? No. F4, cinco? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, F2.8? F2 oh, yeah, yeah. So we have like no light. <laughs> yeah. So we're at F2.8. But it's um, looking pretty good. It's though. okay. I mean, but it just, it, it means that maybe we're focused here and in here and in here, we're going to be, you know, very soft. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to get a little bit better. We just need a lot more light. Yeah. Like lenses are very, um, it's a disgrace. I mean, they, they just eat up light. And, um, so we, we would actually need a ton of light so we don't, because we, we're going to sacrifice that for, uh, for a smaller f-stop and grain. So a lot of, a, a bit of noise, I think. But, you know, both this lens and our camera, I think are fine yeah. in terms of, of noise. You know, they're very good on low light. So anyways, so that's the te technical part. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to see if we can, you know, slowly, this is the key word here because a lot of people thought that we were going to go from this to like 
you know, or four by five foot paintings yeah. like immediately. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, t I'm telling people right now, no. What's going to happen is that we're going to go from this. And I think what we could try to do, I was looking, um, I asked for uh, distributors today, Danny, for the oh. Earth Pack paper. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I wrote yeah. to them. So uh, they do sell um, pliegos, 100 by 70 centimeters. Yeah. And they are 200 gram paper. Oh, that so sounds good. So it's very good. Yeah, good that weight. sounds really good. Yeah, so we're going to start to uh, do some native, you know, we're going to, we're going to start to use some Colombian some paper. Local paper. Local yeah. paper, yeah. Yeah. We talked about it like sugarcane paper. Yeah. No bleaching, so it's actually pretty uh pretty nice, eco-friendly. As friendly as paper can be, I guess. But anyways, we're going to start we're going to see if we could do that. And because it's uh 100 by 70 centimeters, which is roughly blah blah blah, 40 inches by I don't know, 28 maybe? 20 no. Yeah, 28. 40 by 28, roughly, roughly. Uh, we could do that. We could do that size. Uh, I think uh, with a zoom lens that I have that it's 28 millimeter, we could do the size of this drawing table. So that would be nice. That would be nice. Again, not perfect, not huge, but I don't think the size is what's important here, the transition towards the size. I think it's transitioning towards a painting that can be solved in a couple of sessions instead of a, like an Alla Prima mm -hmm. painting. I think that's what's going to be most interesting. Because um, painting big for the sake of painting big is nonsense. A lot of artists do that, but they do it just for price, honestly. It's just like you can get so much more for a bigger painting, and it's something that's like eye candy. Like people love that. Observers love that. If you attend a, a gallery, you love the big painting. Uh, ga galleries that can commercialize big paintings, they adore those big paintings because they know that they're going to be, you know, anywhere from like 40 to 100K. So, you know, it, it's just a bigger market. Uh, bigger paintings demand a bigger market. So that's always going to be, um, always going to be nice. Uh, in terms of commercial, but uh, like commercial purposes. But for us, no, it doesn't matter. Like we can start this size, you know, which is, I don't know. We, I think we've measured it a bunch of times, but I forget I now. Forget. But um, this is probably 70 by 90, maybe. Yeah, 70 or 60 by 80, I would say. 60 centimeters by 80 centimeters. Okay, the uh, pliego. No, 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 esta. Ah, pensé que hablabas de esta. No, 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 esto. No, 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 no. Esto es chiqui. No, no, no. No, the, the, the moleskin paper, the A3, you can look for it, A3 size, okay. Danny. I think it's 11 oh, by no, but 17. you were talking about the table. So yeah, the table is probably around, I would say 60 by 80. Six, no, it's probably bigger. Bain, I think no, it's probably 65. I'm going to say it's 65 by 85, probably. We'll We'll measure it in a little bit, but that's... That's what my my hand and eye say. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we should get started, Danny. I yeah, think we're yeah. losing people. These people are like, come no, on, no, I came no, here for being, the painting. They're being super nice. So let me just read a couple of comments. So Paston was saying hello and happy new year. Happy new year to everyone. Malvinitias está acá otra vez. Grande Malvinitias, Malvinitias, Malvinitas. Dice épico. Islas Malvinitas. Daniel Ayala dice hola. Uh, Luke H says, hey, Happy New Year. Gosling happy New Year. also says, Happy New Year. Ana Maria González nos está saludando. Hola, Ana. Uh, Sandra Carolina Crespo dice, hello, y estaba preguntando si puede hacer preguntas. Yo les Todas las comentarios que quieran, claro. Que claro que sí. Uh, Malvinitias también nos dijo que feliz año. Uh, Sergi Arts también. Grande, Quick Sergi. Format también. Liad it uh, was saying first live stream of 2022 let's go excellent um and uh ghostly was asking is anyone in the chat drawing or painting too i would also like to know that so let us know if you're doing something you can use the hashtag oh no, stop joking. it <laughs> stop it um dean white was saying when you have to do the all-nighters every week it loses any charm and wears oh. you out real quick. Oh, I'm sure. Right? Yeah. We talked about that, Danny. Like, yeah. this is not... Mm, Something that's going to be like yeah, part and, and, of our... Yeah, and we were not... We 
I, I think we were very clear during that, that uh, stream that we do not think that that's cool. Like no. for us, it was just like a, a very, you know, steroids, you know, like full steroids, like um, way of saying, this is how we finish. This is what we've done throughout, you know, these yeah. two years. We just wanted to like really drive in the fact that it was just about, closure. you know, the two of us yeah. and put being pushed through by people that were there for us, you yeah. know, it, watching the videos, commenting. It was, it was super, super cool, but it was, it was really just about that. Yeah. But we said that, for example, people that have to, um, that really, really have to crush like, um, uh, in animation industries, vi video game industry, uh, movie industry, like that's not cool. Yeah. That's super not cool. Like that is not healthy. Yeah. That for us it was something strange. Like it, it's it's a very strange thing to put your body through that. And it was also different because we wanted to do it. Exactly. When you, yeah. When you have to do it, it's not cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're expected, like that's. That's what um it's that's what's um normal. quietly expected because yeah, yeah the, like you don't follow that much the like video game industry Danny but I do and it is crazy like the people that work in that industry are I mean first of all they're not unionized which is insane so they can pretty much just tell them to do whatever mm -hmm. whatever you know companies these developers can ask them to do whatever they want um but they don't ask them openly like they'll just say that that's the the culture, you that's know, that that's just a, like very passionate people that work super super hard. Um, and if you're just not part of that culture, then you're just not part of that team. You know, and that's not cool because you can be passionate but still be like aware of what your body needs. Yeah. I mean, or your doing personal an all life, or all the time. Yeah, doesn't mean you are doing it okay. Oh yeah, no, you can't work like 18, 20 hours a day no, for months. That's insane. That's things. absolutely crazy. Yeah, that's terrible. So yeah, so we we weren't glorifying any of that. No, no, no. Not at all. I mean, if anything, we're just saying this is this is nuts. I mean, one day of chatting and just painting at that pace, and my hand was gone. Yeah. Like it, it's true. And imagine. You know these poor people that that have to work like um i've noticed that digital artists have much more hand pain than painters yeah. much more hand pain that, than painters so it is it is you know it's terrible it's absolutely terrible so yeah no glorification of that none at all um we are all about balance if anything yeah. you know we had to make adjustments in our own practice um when we were uh doing our our weekly videos yeah, it, like eventually like videos. at month nine of the second year nine or ten we had to say okay yeah. four videos a week because we can't do five anymore yeah. like we just can't it's just way way too difficult yeah. and it takes like you know it it you have to be honest with yourself and it takes a, a ton of you know losing that ego and losing that pride in saying okay this is too much for us yeah. this is too much um so yeah so no 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 we're not that's that's one of the reasons that we're saying no we're not doing this again we're not this is not a joke like this is not like a challenge or a joke no it was a, a symbolic way of us you know being pushed through by people wanting to do something that we wanted to do like you said danny yeah. nobody was forcing us to do any of this um but um it was more like both of us trying to say okay let's see if we can do it yeah yeah but now and it was, we know we, yeah now we, we know we it, could cool. i mean it's we not could like, we, oh, we did it so now we're going to do it yeah we don't hate each other month. like we we didn't we didn't fight after that no. we didn't feel like the next day it's like oh i don't want to look at your face yeah. i've been like talking to you for so long um no no nothing like that happened yeah. at all um we're just used to each other i feel in yeah. a great way yeah 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 in a very very good way so so yeah so that's that's um that's that's what uh that's what happened um as for today okay so we we also need to transition into into what's going to be new year so not this saturday so not this saturday or no not saturday danny we have to figure this out but i think we can figure it out today so danny i was thinking we could do monday tuesday wednesday thursday we could do that's going to be our streaming days monday we can talk about the 
you know, our conversation paintings, convo paintings. Conversation painting is like our, you know, the the ones, the projects that we're gonna do together. Okay. Yeah. So that we're gonna do that on Mondays, mm -hmm. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's gonna be just live streams, like regular live streams. Yeah. Uh, and they could be this size, larger size, whatever, whatever you know, whatever we're working on. Um, and then Fridays we have off so that we can, you know, because during these, if we work on the afternoons on on these live streams, in the mornings we have to do our own. Yeah. The paintings yeah, for the was, Monday painting. That's what I was thinking. I mean, yeah, we so have we, to make room. Yeah. yeah. So we need Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. I know that this is weekend and it sucks working on weekends, but we have to. Yeah. We kind of have to. No, I like that. So, so Monday? Monday, but we'll next do that. Monday? No, not next Monday. Okay. I was going to say, like, whoa. Okay. No, no actually, yes. Monday. Next Monday. Oh, what day is it today? Monday. Oh, okay. So we're fine. Yes. So we're going to start from next week. So that's going to be our schedule. Monday, Tuesday, okay. Wednesday, Thursday. Are you cool with that? Yeah. So next yeah. Monday, you're uh -huh. going to show your part yes. of the project. Have I started it? No, it doesn't matter. But I know what I'm going to paint. So that's a good thing. But, but uh, not next Monday, but the Monday after that Monday. It's going to be I'm Danny's gonna... turn. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be your turn cool. to, um, to answer. Do you think that's good? Yeah. Yeah. I'm scared, but yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Can I be super honest with everyone here? No. Danny? Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> I was joking. Danny's a little bit nervous because she nervous. Yeah, cause because she, she thinks she has to do something like out of the ordinary. No, and all no, I no, want no. is to have visually to have a conversation like the one that we're having right now yeah. talking. That's all we that's all we want, Danny. That's nothing else. Yeah. And she's a little bit nervous, uh, you know, thinking of expectations. No, so if you guys can make her feel, if you well. guys can make her feel comfortable. No, 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 no. Because no. I don't want them to be like, oh, yeah, this is amazing. No, and nobody's going like, to. Oh, like they think it's not good. So I just want. Oh, the Internet is going to be nice. Suddenly, have, all of a sudden. They don't have any expectation. I mean, just let what I do be what it is. <laughs> I like I let think it, let it be what it is because yeah and I also like I yes. said before I'm, I'm not used to working like that quick quickly. yeah yeah so um it's also gonna be like a super different experience for me so please um be have nice patience towards my work Thank yeah <laughs> no I think that's perfect yeah. I, I I really don't. Like for me, mm -hmm. which is like cool because I think initially this has to be cool for us. Mm -hmm. Like it makes no sense if we're just suffering through it. Yeah. And for me, I just want to have that conversation with you. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all. Like I already know how you work. Like yeah. If if I didn't think that this would be cool, like I wouldn't have I wouldn't have like asked you if you would be cool, no, you know, for this nice. to be part but of you our project. Also know that, uh, it doesn't like it's not only because I'm gonna be in camera that I'm super like um, stressed. I don't know how to say like anxious. Nope. Okay. About it, because you know that every time I do something, I'm super anxious about it. Even if you're the only one that's gonna see it, or if I was, I don't know, at the university and I was gonna show something, I'm always like, I always have like that feeling. But it's fine. I mean, it would go eventually. It's a it's a tough. I never felt comfortable like sharing my own work. No. I I just you know convinced myself that I would just power through it. Mm -hmm. Like you just keep going, keep going, keep going. Almost like don't think about it, don't think about it. But you know that that it's. I think that there's not a, an artist out there that feels like completely comfortable yeah. about socializing no, their work. No, and also it's because. First of all, I, I never socialize the things I do. So it's going to be like a super big step because I'm going to be socializing in front of all of you guys. And I forget what was the second part <laughs> I was going to say. Well, that first part is pretty stressful. Yeah. So oh, no, no, I, no, no. Okay. Wait. Okay. Wait, no, what? I can... What's that? Go ahead, go ahead. What? No, no, no. I was going to say that, you know... <laughs> There, there may be like a second point to that, but that first part is super. No, you know tough. what is that? Okay. I need to. You need learn to? to have a conversation with you. Yeah. Without reading all the comments at the same time. Okay. My brain is like. 
it's frying. Okay, okay. So, no, no, no. Don't worry. So, um, I think I think you're gonna do fine. I think I'm super excited, but I'm not excited because I think you're gonna suddenly just make these incredible works of art. I don't even think I make incredible works of art. So I'm not. I don't have that expectation for the both of us. I just think that it's gonna be cool to talk through our work. Yeah. That's all. That's all there is to it. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good or bad it is. Like I've done, you've seen me. I've done good paintings, bad paintings. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. None of that matters. Like that's only an acknowledgement of how everybody works. Yeah. Every I single person what works. what I was going to say. Okay, go. And it was that um, I'm also like super anxious, but because we haven't done this. So I'm like expectante. How do I say that? Like. Oh, like I'm just yeah, don't waiting. say expecting. No, no, That's no. going to be different. <laughs> That's different. Uh, okay. um, it says expectant. Expectant. Okay. That's a. So I'm like a little bit expectant to see what um, our part of the project is going to be. Yeah, me too. So, yeah. So maybe that's also why I'm nervous. Because okay. I'm like anxious, but in a good way. And also okay. like scared, but also in a good way because it pushes me. Yeah. So yeah. I'm sure we'll grow into it. I'm. I don't. I. I've never imagined it being, you know, super cool immediately. Like that's nonsense. Yeah. I think as with everything in life, you you kind of it takes time for for you to get used to what you're doing, but you have to start somewhere. You have to. So I'm excited that we can start. No, and there being super nice so let me uh read the comments so dean white was saying go to it danny i think this will be great um i don't know how to read the username go for it no 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 because it's not in it's in, i think it's oh, okay. in russian maybe okay cyrillic yep yeah they're saying don't worry and like a crying smiley happy face um air double RWZZ says one day just to relax you guys should do you should switch I'd like to see Danny Painter draw and Nicolas reading comments <laughs> oh I would suck at yeah that. and I will suck like my head would be all the time in the screen like 100% <laughs> in the screen eh, Agustina Caruso hola Agustina dice, Danny va a salir precioso confía muchas gracias eh, Malvini Tías dice Yo estoy feliz mientras ustedes dos prendan stream Cuando puedan, realmente me gustan sus lives Y me hacen súper buena compañía para pintar Qué chévere Y sí, si esa es la preocupación Acabamos a seguir, yo creo que Por mucho tiempo um, Ghostly was saying Everyone has different expectations You can't please everyone Which also means you can't displease everyone There is always a middle ground That's nice Yeah um, so Mang Son says, seeing the interaction between Danny, Nicolas, and us, the viewers, is really nice and a happy face. And Liet was saying, after you share enough, you get used to it. At least I did. Danny, you can open chat in your phone to read comments while you paint. Oh, no, because that's the thing. Um, I don't know if, we, if we've explained this before, but... Mm -hmm. When we are going to share the things we do, Nicolas yeah. is not going to be painting live. No, not and that I'm, painting. And not I'm the... not going to be painting live. On not Monday. this painting. No, not no, this painting gonna on Monday. No, we're going to be talking. We're going to be like sharing a little bit about why. The why. The why, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we're going to have a conversation around the things we do, but we're not going to be working while, like, we're not going to be recording the stream while we do the painting. So and I the, just the to reason, and there's a reason for this. Um, I, I think, and, and we both think this, um, that if we see the painting, if we see and we record the execution of the painting that's going to be on Mondays, mm -hmm. like if Danny is aware of what I'm doing and all the things that I'm doing for this painting, um, she'll probably have, like, I don't know, like sometimes I, I would say like a distorted idea yeah, and of what this painting is we've been we wouldn't be able to like talk about it while yeah, we're working that's what I was gonna say. like we 
we would be talking while you do the painting or while I do the answer to your painting. So that would uh, condition that. Condition, yeah. Condition the others. Uh, yeah. Like answer to that. So the, the idea is that there's this week is sort of like a unveiling of that painting. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing important it's about not, it's, more it's just like chatting. And yeah, and we just I am presenting it to Danny. Like yeah, this like is the first with moment. You our conversation. Exactly. So it would be like a hot take. Danny seeing it for the first time. Yeah. Like literally, we'll try to make that the moment where we see the painting. Yeah. And then we can speak about it. And I think that when we speak about that, the, like the reasons behind the painting and what the painting is, um, then we can be, then like this conversation can be super interesting. Yeah. And, and the painting that can be sort of spurred from that moment, I think it's much more powerful than the one that you kind of like slow burn and you say, oh, okay, they're working on this. I haven't even seen the painting. Let me start to think about yeah. what I can do as an answer to that painting yeah. before I see it. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's going to be strange, but cool. kind of weird, but interesting. No, it's cool. I mean, it's a different take to what we do. I yeah. mean, it's, yeah. it's not seeing the process, but like making you part of what was in each of us, like in the mind of each of us. What yeah. we were doing, what we did. So I think that's going to be cool. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. So that paint, those paintings, like Danny said, those are not going to be recorded. But don't worry. Like I think with the other days of live streaming, we'll make up for, uh, yeah. for that. There's always going to be someone saying, oh, that one wasn't. I love that one. That was my favorite. You know, how come you didn't record that one? Uh, but yeah, you know, it's a sacrifice that we're making for the sake of, of something cool happening, hopefully during the, where we show, where we share with each other, um, what we're doing. So, yeah. Eh, Jesús de la Osa pregunta, ¿cómo sí. terminaron luego de las 24 horas? Mucho cansancio. Es que no habíamos hablado de eso en español. Ah, Entonces... terminamos, sí, cansados físicamente. Mm. Yo no logré dormir mucho. Dos Dani, horas. pues sí, yo dormí no, yo como sí dormí. un poco menos de dos horas y, y Dani durmió. Desde las nueve hasta las doce dormí yo. Sí, dormiste o sea, un poco. Igual, tampoco, sí, tres tampoco. Horas. Y después dormiste otro ratito. Sí, alm almorzamos. Uh -huh. eh, y yo por la tarde me dormí otro rato. Sí. Eh, y tú te dormiste temprano la noche siguiente. Sí, Porque creo sí. que nos dormimos como a las ocho y media, nueve. No, creo que antes. No, 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 no seguro. Segurísimo. Sí, bueno. Pero eh, cansados, eh, sí, sí, eh, es raro. Fue, es un ejercicio súper extraño de como... Porque no es simplemente trabajar, o sea, no es... Eh, porque tra pues eso no tiene misterio. Si es de ponerse a trabajar, pues eso no, no tiene... Nosotros decíamos mucho que eso no tiene ningún misterio, aunque es una cosa, hay veces, muy desbalanceada. Y, y es muy triste si es un trabajo, digamos, una profesión que está eh, obligándolo a uno a trabajar como, no, ese tipo de, no, 24 horas al día, nadie puede ponerlo a uno a trabajar 24 horas al día, pero, pero sí hay muchos sitios y hay muchas profesiones en, dentro de las artes que esperan que la gente trabaje de 16, 18 horas al día, que es una, una barbaridad. Eh, y hacer eso por meses y meses y meses. Entonces, no, no, no. También, también decíamos que nosotros no queríamos como glorificar ese tipo de, de ni de horario ni de producción ni nada eso es absurdo 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 ni tratar Entonces, como de normalizar eso no no no, no. o sea nunca nunca queríamos como decir no ni como, queremos no yo creo es que, que, que eso sí, es que sí, quedó, no, quedó claro que no no sí. es no era más un experimento sí queríamos hacer el experimento los dos y creíamos que el momento indicado era o sea nos parecía un buen momento hacerlo para culminar esos dos años de Our Painted Lives. Entonces, pero sí, hacer. terminamos, digamos que dentro de todo bien, eh, pero pues sí, también reconocemos, no, esto es una, es una tontería uno ponerse a hacer ese tipo de cosas o, o pensar que son cosas que se pueden repetir, no, 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 no eso tampoco. Sí. Eh, RWCC. Says, hello guys, do you have pets? If yes, how you deal with oil paint toxicity? I have two cats and I always have to clean 
and hide everything from the table. Yeah, no, we don't. We have, I think um, this year, this year, well, if we can this year, if not at the beginning of next year, maybe this year, we will see, we will introduce a member to the family. Yeah. So, um, so pet, that's, gonna, no? yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah Cause you were like, yeah. Super weird. With yeah. Dad. If we've Both talked with Danny, like this is personal, but we, we don't, we, we're not well, going to have, have kids. We're not going to no. have kids. I have two kids already and I have a vasectomy. That doesn't mean that I can't have kids. We now could obviously. Being super personal, but. Yeah. Is, yeah. Oh, no, I talk about my vasectomy <laughs> all the time. Yeah, I had but... it like years ago. No, and that's cool because. In my 30s. I was, I, think, I don't, I don't wanna think I was. have kids. So it's perfect for both of us. Yeah. So, so but it, no, it works. Maybe well. we're going to have a, a dog. My vasectomy. What? Huh? No. I maybe don't... we're going to have a dog. Yeah this year we'll see but we don't have it right now yeah not yet not yet and um how would i how would we deal with that with oil uh, means toxicity yeah no i would just make sure that this room or at least where we keep the paints it would be off you know off, off limits, limits for yeah. the uh for the dog i i don't think that that's super difficult to um and it's easier with a dog yeah i think yeah i mean i grew up with have like cats yeah i mean they climb Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's complicated. Yeah, just... yeah. And and usually people work alongside their cats. Um and that's also a little more difficult. But uh, I think like dogs usually with like stuff that's super toxic. I, I mean I'm not I grew up with um three dogs. Mm -hmm. So we had a Well one at a time. One at, yeah, mean... yeah. So we had a dachshund first, like a wiener dog first, yeah. Hortensia. She was yeah. amazing. Then we had a basset hound trapos. and trapos, rags. <laughs> and then we had a golden retriever. Simon. And I painted during the uh, Simon's lifetime. Mm -hmm. Never, never, in, never in his life. I'm sure he was like, oh my God, he's painting again. Because dogs smell like, you know, a hundred times more than human beings. But, um, but yeah, but never, never, he never grabbed a painting, never done, never did anything with a painting. Yeah. Only thing I've seen is Tyson, which is a, you know, that's the dog that lives in my mother's right now. Who's yeah. a, that's an Aussie shepherd. This I had, dog, I did yeah. a portrait, a large portrait yeah. and I showed it to him and he growled. He was like, I, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> this is flat, but three dimensional, but it's a person. And he started bar barking at the portrait. He was like, he didn't understand what was happening but i think if you still painted in your mom's house it would be a it, little complicated with tyson because he's like super curious about everything i mean yeah but i think i mean i mean I, well, again but dogs are like they'll, floor, so. they'll eat anything but but i mean this is tyson that got the vitamins yeah was, who who ate like a, a jar full of vitamins yeah one day that he was left alone and he was super up in super the high up yeah 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 um but and nothing happened to him like i took him straight to the vet they didn't have to do anything they were like what what sort of vitamin and they were like yeah no we're fine. fine like yeah. has he thrown up and i was like no and they were like no 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 just keep an eye on him and and he'll be fine so yeah yeah by the way danny i haven't really said uh, who we're painting today. Okay, so maybe you can say that while I go for a sweater because I'm for getting a, swim. a little bit cold. Yeah, yeah, go okay. ahead, go ahead. So we're painting uh, Horace, the amazing Horace Pippin. And I don't know if you guys know who Horace Pippin was. He's an American artist, an African-American artist. He was uh, self-taught. He was an ex-soldier. Uh, um, he fought during World War I, and he got injured. Um, a German sniper shot him in his uh, shoulder. And he got injured, and um, as many vets, you know, they, as, as part of the, um, their recuperation process, uh, he started painting. Uh, but his arm wasn't, you know, he, he couldn't um, move his arm. His, the mobility on his arm wasn't uh, all there. So... What he ended up doing was uh, he, he ended up doing this, like he couldn't move his arm freely, his right hand. So he would just grab onto the brush and then the left, you know, the left arm would be the one that would 
that would help the um, help guide the right arm. So this is how you know he would paint. And Horace Pippen is amazing. Um, he he is one of those like the more I think about it, the more I feel because a lot of people treat it as you know what we talk about sometimes as um, as um, this sort of art that doesn't belong to the art history because it's done by people that are you know from the outside so it's um it, that's why it's called outsider art um and sadly they don't get usually artists that you know are deemed as outsider artists or, or as defined as outsider artists they're not in the same conversation as other artists but i do feel that for example in in, in horace pippin's work um he is very american very, very American. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And there's something super pure about him feeling like an American painter. Now, granted, there's a lot of, because he was from, I think, Westchester, Pennsylvania. So it's all East Coast. He moved to, um, he was in New York at some point, and then he was in Jersey at another point. So it was all like up Upper East Coast. Um, and it kind of shows like the, the fact that he's from, um, Philadelphia uh, from Pennsylvania it it shows there's like a DNA like a shared DNA with like um you know NC Wyeth's work for example there's a lot of Wyeth you can kind of tell that there's a lot of Wyeth in there uh there's a lot of like Winslow Homer in there also but it's done with such purity that it's um I don't know. And it's not quaint. It's not like oh look at this quaint painting. Yeah, it's done by an you know former um, by a vet, a former soldier, and he's, you know, he's self-taught. It's like, no, no, no. I think that there's like incredibly valuable painting in there. Um, absolutely beautiful. And I think, you know, I've, I've often spoken about this, but I think that the U S in particular, and for example, this happens in Colombia also for very different reasons, but it's very hard to determine what Colombian, for example, and I'm going to start with it by explaining with what happens locally, and then we can extra extrapolate that to what happens in the U.S. But um, it's very hard to determine what Colombian painting is when you you know when you look at it, you always have to look at it through a colonial lens, so that you're always going to get these these remnants because they are remnants. We we didn't really get like um, super strong Spanish painters coming here to uh, Colombia to teach, you know, to establish an art school or to teach painting. No, we had like this very, you know, almost like, like, you know, B tier uh, of painters coming here. And it was just like a, a, a miss, um, it's almost like misremembering, a misinterpretation of what um, Spanish painting was. And that's what he, that's what he, we inher inherited. You know how like Brazilian players that are not good enough, they sometimes go to other countries and they nationalize so they can play in those other countries. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of what happens, I think, here. So our history of painting is super super weird because you can feel the Spanish influence, like the colonial influence in it, but it's not until like late in the twentieth century that we start you know, kind of understanding what we are about in terms of painting. Um, it's very, very strange. Even like in the history of our painting, like Colombian painting, um, Antonio Roda y Obregón, they're both uh, Spanish painters. You know, they're literally Spanish painters um, from 60s and 70s. And they are part of the Colombian history of painting. They're just Spanish painters that, you know, ended up living here, but they are Spanish painters. So it's very, very tough to um, to understand what is truly ours. Now, I'm talking about that because in the U.S., I really do feel that it's the same issue. It takes a long time for the U.S. to say, what are we, you know, outside of this Eurocentric, Eurocentric influence of like turn of the century, you know, late 19th century, early 20th century art, like what is our painting about? What are we as artists about? Because a lot, a lot, a lot of painting in particular, like no, we are talking about painting, we're concentrating on painting. So a lot of painting was just inherited from Europe. It was just completely, you know, either French or German 
kind of um, uh, uh, taught painting. And um, and you could see it. You could see like the German school in in Merit Chase and Duvenek in um, uh, what's his name? Blah, I forget now. But you can see that there's a German part of of education coming to the U.S. And you can totally see like the French part of education coming into the U.S. So it's very weird when people go like, oh, American painters are like. Um, uh, 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 John Singer Sargent. You know, John Singer Sargent is an American painter. And it's like, well, I mean, he is, but really? Is he really an American painter? I mean, he's European. He is European. He's like 100% European. It's not, nothing about his paintings feels like, okay, this is American painting. Um, I, I really honestly feel that it is only until later on, like much later on, that you get people like Sheeler, like Hopper, that you start realizing, or like Edwin Dickinson, you start realizing, okay, we're slowly, or the Ashcan School. The Ashcan School was actually super, super, that, that was earlier. But that was, that was really interesting. That was super interesting. That was like gutter level of like American painting. That was like street level painting. It, it was very, very beautiful. Super, super interesting in, in terms of, of the hit of, like American history of painting. And, um, but it, it takes a long time for the U S to reach some sort of identity, which I don't still don't think it has. I, I, I think it's, it's very tough to say, you know, when, when people think of American painting, it's very, very tough to say, okay, I get it. I get it now. I mean, eventually when you got people like, um, like Pollock and, and, um, and Warhol and Jasper Johns and Rauschenberg and de Kooning, which, I mean, he was American, but Dutch, but you know, still pseudo American. You kind of get a sense of what that painting was. Not even Hockney, because Hockney is very, very British, but you know, he does have that spell in the West Coast. So, yeah, it is a strange thing, American painting, but I don't know why institutions are far more willing to kind of like be okay with that um, inherited history rather than saying, okay, let's look within our own history and say what is, you know, I'm not saying what is exclusively ours, but what starts to feel like our own painting. And I personally feel like people like James Castle or, or Horace Pippin, they feel much more American than a bunch of artists that have been used i think the u.s like the united states used them or was like searching for them frantically to to um sort of put put a medal on them and say yeah you're gonna represent american painting from now on um so th that's that's kind of like my argument here i think that people like um uh, pippin um they should be they they shouldn't be treated as artists that belong to like the sidelines or or just because oh you know this this is a vet this is a um this you know this is actually a self-taught artist but this you know this person was originally just a soldier and um like there's nothing about uh pushing a philosophy of painting or or, or using painting from you know from within the art world to to try to speak about painting, um, it, it really feels like he used painting in a, in a very, very personal way. And maybe it was just about healing, you know, maybe it, it was, maybe what, what prompted him to paint or what kept him painting over the years was just that, um, that bit of healing that, that most um, vets need and they search for, you know, they search for that in, in tons of different places, um, Pippin found it in painting. But um, I don't know. I just think that it's far, far bigger and more important. And may maybe, hopefully, with, um, with time, um, we'll gain some more perspective, like a, a well-needed sort of distance and perspective to, to understand the value that these, um, these wonderful ar artists had. And value not so much in the, um, in the sense that Oh, you know, uh, Horace Pippin is one of the most, which he is, but one of the most important African-American painters. 
I think it it's even like beyond that. I think it's even it's acknowledging identity, like the identity of the United States. It's not just saying, you know, oh, this was the uh, the, uh, the the son of um, slave. He comes from a family of slaves, and he, of course, what they were doing, um, they were just um, um, making making them become soldiers and 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 fight in world wars. Um, there, in his case, it was even ridiculous because the other countries didn't want to fight alongside African American soldiers, so he had to fight with a uh, French, with with some of um, with some French soldiers that I'm guessing were probably French African, um, because that was the only way that they could, you know, that they they found that. You know, other infantry units would fight alongside them, which is crazy. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. So, um, but I think that that's that that is American identity. And when he comes back, and when he he looks back at uh, his subject matter, is, is is sort of not all over the place in a bad way, but just he just I, I feel that that the most beautiful paintings are the ones he does of um, just regular you know, lifestyle paintings, just day-to-day -day paintings. But they're also like, um, there's there's a painting of a fox, of, of like a, a fox with a, I don't know, could you look for that painting, yeah. Danny? I forget what it's called. I don't know the title of that painting. It's it's a gorgeous painting. So just a Horace Pippin, it's H-O-R-A-C-E y Pippin P-I-P-P-I-N. No, espérate, H-O. Horacio, como Horas, Horace. Y Pipin P I P P I N. Uh -huh. Y es una es un zorro, es una zorra, un zorro. Uh -huh. A ver. Yeah, that's oh, such a it's such a beautiful painting. So effortless and just so it's pure painting. I, I sometimes I don't even know how do you describe something that's pure? Like it's it's so difficult to try and put into words something that you feel is like that's it. You know, that's painting. Um, but I find it super, super, you know, uh, Pennsylvania painting, um, uh, very American, very East coast painting. I just, I love it. I, I think it's an absolutely wonderful painting. So, yeah, so that's, that's my, my reasoning, um, for, for painting Pippin. It's, um, uh, it's not about making, you know, my painting is not going to make him visible. No, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. But you know, I I often say that while best thing we can hope for is that while we are painting, um, and and for example, you know, a, a such a wonderful story as as Pippin's, we start to make reflections, you know, about art, about identity in art, about that struggle that you know Americans had to fight for for, you know, what was American painting, and why they suddenly landed on on. Um, Pollock, for example, in the latter half of the 20th century, second half of the 20th century, like why it was so important to to have that sort of, you know, painting, that sort of artist be the the quintessential American painter. I feel the quintessential American painter is Hopper. In my mind, there's like no doubt. I've said this before. My favorite American painter is Edwin Dickinson, but I think the quintessential American painter is Edward Hopper. This you know, you can make an argument for Norman Rockwell, maybe. I mean, it's still propaganda painting, but Norman Rockwell is just Americana at, you know, its best. I think Warhol, for sure, for sure, you, you know, has to be in that conversation. Um, it'd be interesting. I, I'd be interesting to know if, if you guys have other American painters that you feel are like, okay, this is American painting. This for sure means, you know, means American painting. Yeah. To make an argument for um, George O'Keefe, maybe, maybe. Sheeler, maybe. Hmm, I'm struggling to to really think of, of just super powerful names that could be kind of added to that. But yeah, but we could we could talk about that if you guys want. So, yes, Danny Sita. No, so Dean White was saying both of the Wyatts I think of as American. Oh, yeah, Andrew White, yeah, for sure. Especially Andrew. Yeah. Never thought of Sargent as American, but no. my fellow artist that went to school in France never heard of Sar Sargent until he came here. Right, right. And ghostly 
said N.C. Wyatt is a good example of an American painter overlooked sometimes, perhaps. Yeah, because he was an illustrator. But yeah, that Wyatt tradition is is as American as as, as can be. I mean, trying to, I I think we all get this, but try it's a huge country. So trying to encapsulate America in like one artist, it's almost impossible. Um, both coasts are so different. North and South are so different. The middle of America is so, so very different. So yeah, it's, it's almost impossible to try to find, you know, to try to reach an agreement. I have a bias towards East Coast painters, I feel. Um, that's why I pick, that's why I'm, I'm always like, I love Homer. I love um, Edward Hopper. I love Edwin Dickinson. So I'm always going to be a little bit by, and I obviously love like Brandywine, like um, uh, all the Wyaths I love. Um, so yeah, so I'm always going to be a little bit biased towards the Eastern side of the, um, U S but, but, um, it's a cool conversation to have, I feel. Mm, so there is saying, Paston is saying the artist Edward Payne is a favorite yeah. of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sachin Arts says Edward Hopper. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Liad says Frank Facetta. Frazetta, J yeah, for sure, yeah. J.C. Leindecker. Line, Frazetta, Leindecker, Bernie Wrightson. Frazetta is very, yeah, there's a lot of, like, Americana also in, in him. A lot of pulpy, you know, it's almost like pulp taken to, to fantasy art. Um, yeah, that's very much Americana. So, yeah, Frazetta can be in that conversation. It's a weird one because, sadly, still Frazetta has talked, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people know Frazetta by now, but but still a lot of people feel that the conversation that goes on in illustration is not one that should go, um, that should include, you know, fine artists uh, or the conversation, or better, the conversation that revolves around fine artists should not include illustrators, which is ridiculous. But um, you guys already know how I feel about illustration. So Philip Walker said, I think Pollock being the, Quote unquote, ideal American painter is strictly political in how his process is the embodiment of freedom. Right, right. Yeah, he was perfect. He was perfect. It's, it's like the right person at the right time. And they were like, okay, we have our poster child artist. You're like, this is what we needed. This is, this is perfect. He, uh, he's, it, I'm going to be blunt here. I don't think he's a great artist by any means. By any means. I actually find, his earlier paintings a, a bit more interesting than than his later work but it was just there was so much of the u.s pushing for somebody like that that um that he just fit the bill at the right time and and they were like yes that's it this is you you know this is what we were looking for um let me see estaba mirando porque cuando me puse el saco Yes, Danny Sita. La imagen se lavó. O sea, me vio. Oh, yeah, you're a super overexposed. Yeah, I've noticed that too. When I, like, I usually wear dark shirts. And I think the camera goes nuts trying to. So, wait, I'm going to take the camera out for a bit. So I'm going to try to fix it. Uh, so. You just emanate light, Danny. You are light. Pues. Thank you, but no sé cómo hacer. ¿Con la cámara? Sí. ¿Trata primero con el, eh, las propiedades de la cámara? Y después con el, con el filtro. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? It just it just doesn't know what to do. What to do. I think cameras are... They're not seeing the image. No, no, no. Danny, Danny just took off her, sh her sweater. And, and the exposure is a lot better. Yeah. No, but the exposure you could just immediately gets a lot better. That was like a wide circle with dark yeah. eyes. So I was trying to fix that. Um, Ian Indiano says Philip Guston, maybe. Philip Guston, yeah. Canadian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys seen what Devin Troy is doing? Uh, based on Philip Guston's work, it's amazing. It's really, really amazing. Mm. So, 
let me see. I love Devin Troy's work as an outsider looking in because I, I feel I can only like, that is the role that I, you know, that I would have to play as, you know, as, as part of that conversation, just completely as an outsider. Um, he, his work is incredible. Like I enjoy it tremendously. I mean, this it's super racially charged. He's amazing at it. Um, but it, you know, I started following his work and he was doing like basketball paintings, some of the basketball paintings, and they were brilliant. That dude is brilliant artist. Devin Troy, if you guys don't, um, don't follow him already. Eh, Malvini Tías pregunta. Sí. Nicolás, ¿conoces algún pintor o artista chileno que te agrade su trabajo? Yo me acuerdo de Muñoz Vera, me acuerdo de Claudio Bravo, y hasta ahí quedo y pues me varé. No pero... Alfredo Yar, él es chileno, me acuerdo de él. Pero no lo conozco. Yo sí creo. Yo conocí a Muñoz Vera, pero no. Y Claudio Bravo, pues cuando crecí, pues o sea, no cuando crecí. Eh... Creo que, Muestra mira un... este, yo creo que los... Ah, sí, el, ah, ya sé, sí, sí, sí qué, qué bruto. Sí, 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 gracias, linda. No, tranquilo. Sí. No, 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 porque, porque es... es... Es de esas cosas que me, o sea, nos pasan, que es que se acuerda uno de la obra más que del artista. Sí, no, pues a mí me pasa todo el tiempo. Eh... Dime. No, estoy pensando, estaba pensando. Ah, no, yo, yo sé que yo me varo relativamente rápido. Sí, yo me acuerdo que había un pintor, mm. eh, no es contemporáneo, mm. de apellido Lira, mm. no me acuerdo el nombre. Mm. Eh, lo puedo buscar, pero sé que era chileno y no sé si has visto ese pintor que hace como unos paisajes con unos árboles que se llama José Vaso o Vaso no, no, espérate, no. lo busco muy como Armando Morales o qué mira, Ay, casi lo busco en la página en el tab de, de el chao, de... el ¿Basó como B-A-S-O? B-A-S-S-O. B-A-S-S-O. A ver. ¿Él? Estoy viendo unas casitas. Sí, 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 que son todos mm, Está muy, paisajes. está súper horizonte, paisaje. Está sí, muy lindo, sí, sí. muy lindo, muy, muy de ahora. Sí, es muy, muy de bien. ahora. Está súper bonito, súper atmosférico. No lo conocía, ¿sabes? No, pues a mí algo me pasó que me acordé porque tú sabes. Sí, que grande. Para acordarme de artista. No, re bien, re bien, muy bien. Arlira. Sí, follow. Artista. Pues entonces artisto, no, no, artisto. Nos fui, no nos fue tan mal. Entre, entre tú y yo hicimos Ahí, como. 50... Pedro Lira se llamaba el pintor. No, estoy, mejor dicho. Sí. Creo que nunca. Me en salvaste mi vida incluso. He tenido tan buena memoria. Una claridad impresionante. Sí. Pero pregúntame qué desayuné hoy. No, nada. Es de estos, no José sé si has visto. Mira. Ah, eso está muy bonito. Ese era de Pedro Lira. Pero ese es como del comienzo del 20. Sí, pues, por eso dije, no es contemporáneo. O sea, sí. Ah, bueno, bueno. No, los míos sí son más viejitos, pero no tan viejitos. No, porque pues. los que yo te dije también. Contemporáneo. No, 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 eso sí. Pero, pero eh, Ahí. Malvinitías nos, nos tiene que... Mm, Recomendar. Claro, enseñar. Sí, muy chévere. Si Instruir, por favor. Súper abiertos a... De pronto nos dice alguien que, ah, que uno dice, ay, pues, obvio. Sí, sí, sí. Ay, casi se me cae el micrófono. Eh, a, a Pardor Ajá. says, what about Edward Rusha? Ed Rusha, yeah. Rusha? Oh, yeah, sorry. I think that's how you say it. No, no, no. It's like a super yeah. weird um, uh, pronunciation, I feel. But Ed Rusha? Yeah, for sure. For sure. That he should be in that conversation. He should be. Mm. Es el que hace todas las, las pinturas de las señales. Sí, todo creo, texto. Creo que no... O sea, el nombre no lo había visto nunca. Sí, Ed Rusha. Pero las pinturas sí o no. Es que cerré el tap. Ya lo miro. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like type, uh, typography and painting, mm -hmm. like 100%. It's just, um, 
it's one of the most powerful uses of, of like the word in painting, I feel. One of the first, well, not first, but certainly one of the most powerful. Yeah. Uh, Maurice Robbins says, what do you think of Dean Mitchell? I love Oh, Dean's he's work. amazing. I've often struggled to find more African-American painters that don't paint in an abstract or more outsider-like manner. Yeah, Dean but Mitchell and Mario, Mario Robinson. Oof. But that's also because I think I'm biased towards pushing painting more to an ima imaginative slash narrative driven realism or naturalism versus abstraction. Yeah. Yeah, Dean Mitchell and Mario Robinson are, are just tremendous watercolorists. Tremendous, tremendous. Uh, Tommy Golunski says, Happy hey, Tommy. New Year. Happy guys. New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, Tommy. And they were asking, how many moleskins did you get through over the project? Oh, wow. I don't even know. No, I don't think we've... Oh, I know. Honestly, Tommy, I I don't think we counted. No, I don't think we counted. Eh, Agustina Caruso pregunta, quedó guardado la maratón de 24 horas. Entonces, no. queremos porque ha habido mucha gente como no, ¿qué hicieron, ¿Qué idiotas? Sí. No, tampoco. Eh, no, lo de idiotas es solo para mí. Pero, a ver, es que en en el medio de la maratón eh, nos dijeron, oigan. Los videos, YouTube solo deja eh, eh, guardar videos de máximo 12 horas. No, de streams de 12 horas. Que, fue que se me cerró la pantalla. Ah, sí, hubo como un dije, glitch ahí se extraño. Cerró el en vivo sí, y hubo... buscamos. En ese momento buscamos y alguien dijo: Es que no sé si se puede guardar un envío de 24 horas. Y ahí fue que empezamos a buscar. Entonces empezamos a buscar uh -huh. y nos dimos cuenta que no, que YouTube no deja. Entonces, lo que normalmente hace la gente es que lo rompe como en, en un par de secciones, lo rompe en pedazos. Uh -huh. Entonces, Creo que nosotros. Hasta 12 horas. Sí, exacto. Entonces, nosotros hubiéramos podido guardar 12 horas y después guardar la segunda, la segunda parte, las segundas 12 horas. Pero, vamos a serles muy honestos, eh, lo, lo debatimos con Dani en ese ahí momento, en vivo. Con todo, sí, sí, en vivo y lo, lo, lo discutíamos y es que. Pues nosotros, o sea, para nosotros hay una parte, o sea, hay una parte que sí, nosotros hacemos videos, o sea, eso, eso es innegable. Pero nosotros nunca hemos visto como el, no sé, como el propósito, como que el propósito eh, fundamental sea hacer videos, como que tenemos que acomodarnos a la dinámica de hacer videos que utiliza pues, ver, mí, todo el mundo en YouTube. A mí me encanta que la manera que hayamos encontrado es hacer videos, porque le cogí un cariño muy grande a los videos, pero, pero sí, a nosotros la parte que más nos interesa es como encontrar la manera de, como de socializar, de compartir lo que estábamos haciendo, entonces pues también nos pareció chévere. Y de compartir como la filosofía detrás de lo que hacemos, sí. yo creo que eso también es súper importante. Y me pareció chévere que el video estuvo mientras estaban, ustedes en el en vivo y después sí. ya no estuvo. O sea, es como una conversación de sí. antes, iba a decir, pero pues... Sí, y yo sé que eso suena como súper, como no, pero es que algunos no pudimos y entonces hubiera sido importante tenerlo ahí. Pero vengan, les vamos a ser honestos, seamos súper honestos, Dani. Nuestro canal tampoco tiene un montonón de vistas. No, o sea, no, obvio no. nuestro no, además, canal... No tenemos que ser honestos, ellos pueden sí, verlo. Sí, es, exacto. Miren, o sea, miren no es un si quieren. Canal que uno diga, sí, pucha. entonces uno... No es que uno diga, ay, si lo hubieran dejado, ahí sí es que vienen las millones y millones de vistas. No, además empezando no. porque por alguna razón que todavía no entiendo, eh, la monetización estaba restringida. Sí, que igual Entonces, tampoco nos hacemos no, plata pero en nada. Siendo muy ah, sí, nunca porque, entendimos por qué. Pues sí, pero además nosotros lo vemos y terminamos haciendo lo mismo que en un stream normal de cuatro horas. Sí. Entonces es muy chistoso porque... No tenemos ni idea qué pasó, pero pues, o sea, sí, en términos de plata no significó nada pues igual o sea, que lo que no significaba un stream. Eh, que es como... como estos. No, diez, no son 10 dólares, ni siquiera, no, no como sé, 8 sí. dólares, 9 sí, dólares. Sí, por eso, o sea, no es... O sea, no es nada. Entonces a lo que vamos es que 
O sea, si el argumento es, no, lo hubieran puesto y entonces un resto de gente lo va a ver después. No, miren, la verdad, nuestros videos los ve mucha gente cuando salen y después ya no los ve mucha gente. Esa es la verdad. O sea, vamos a ser súper honestos acá con todo el mundo. Y, pues y está bien. Y video de 24 horas, no creo que Sí, no... y esos no son unos videos así que uno diga, la gente está matándose por repetirse Cada videos de 24 semana. horas. No. Entonces, honestamente es chévere. Hay veces es chévere como tratar, como interpretar un poco estos videos que hacemos como una... Como si uno estuviera, pues, nada. Uno fue a una reunión con amigos y habló con sus amigos esa noche... Pues esa noche, ese, esa reunión en este caso duró todo un día, sí. pero, pero y después se fue, y después ya no está, ya no está, y está bien, o sea, eso tampoco es terrible, no es, no es terrible que eso ya no, no esté. No, por eso decía, es como una conversación, entre comillas, antigua, que es una conversación normal, o sea, que no es sí. el internet, porque después es que uno ahora está sí, como acostumbrado sí. a que chatea y tiene todo el chat ahí. O sea, sí. uno puede revisar lo que habló hace seis años. O, o que alguien nos dijera como, uy, nosotros hicimos un live de 24 horas y es como, a ver, video o didn't happen. O sea, video o nunca pasó. Sí. Y es como, ay, no sea imbécil. Entonces, no, no pasó. Bueno, está bien. Pues o no sea, imbécil. no, qué pena. Pero, pero, si ¿sí me entiendes, pero, pero no es como, o sea, no es como ese tipo de evidencia. No necesitamos de esa evidencia. Se nos hace bonito. No, o estamos pues dispuestos a haberlo vivido. sacrificar. Queríamos hacer haberlo vivido, Exacto. no queríamos hacer un video sobre Exacto. eso. Entonces ya cuando decidimos que, pues que no íbamos a cortar a las 12 horas, sabíamos que podía o guardarse o no guardarse. Y no se guardó y pues estamos bien con eso. Eh, Diane Nowicki no uh -huh. is saying, trying to just watch with a baby is so hard. I have four kids and I'm living with my family. I love painting along. Do you have an episode or any recommendations on time slash space management so I can paint? I listened to the Draftsman podcast yeah. and they recommended teaching my kids, which in my opinion doesn't uh, scratch the urge to create. It's like intensive management and more cleaning. Yeah. Well, I, I mean... Uh, what works for one person doesn't necessarily have to work for another person. I can tell what's their name. I'm sorry. Diane. So Diane, I'll tell you what worked for me. And, and I think that through my painting, through my development as a painter, I mean, this for the past, Samu's going to be 15 this year. So let's say for the past, yeah, <laughs> crazy. So for the past 14 years, so I, I can only speak for the past 14 years and Fed is 10. So you know, 14 years, um, four years alone with Samu. And then after that, it was Samu and Fed. So you probably know what that feels. I mean, you probably know twice <laughs> how that feels. But um, what worked for me was doing nothing really extraordinary. What I started realizing is that I had to teach myself how to paint with alongside them, alongside them. So, for example, in my mother's house, and, and this, I don't know if you remember, Danny, like during the sketchbook project, yeah. like many times I was just painting at a table and they, everyone was around, not only my kids, but my with nephews. Their cousins playing, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, everyone, not my cousins, nephews. Um, with their cousins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Danny, I, I misunderstood you. Oh, it's fine. Um, yeah, they were with their cousins, like everyone's, and Danny has been to my mother's house. Like, my mother's house is very active. Packed. All the time. Yeah, and very, very active, yes. super active. So I, instead of like teaching myself, no, I need, I need like a, you know, going Superman on this. I need my temple of solitude. My no, not temple of solitude. What's it called? My uh, um. I have no idea. My uh, what's that called? I'm not a Superman fan. The Blue of Solitude. What I is it called? Fortress of, Fortress of Solitude. Fortress of Solitude. Sorry. Oh, God. And I'm a, I, I was supposed to be a comic book artist. Um, so I, instead of believing that I need a Fortress, Fortress of Solitude where, like, nobody, nobody messes with me and I have peace of mind and I can just, you know, do what I love and I can just do my own painting and please, everyone, shut up. And I need this little moment for myself. 
instead of convincing myself that that's what I needed to paint, I started telling myself, why don't I just teach myself to paint anywhere, anywhere? You know, it doesn't matter the amount of noise. It doesn't matter the amount of, you know, kids running around. It doesn't matter. Like none of those things matter. What matters is that I'm okay with myself. Like I have peace of mind. Um, and I, I often say this to people, like, you know how people go to retreats, like, you know, these retreats and these amazing places to do, um, I don't know, meditation or, or to do what, whatever they're retreating for. And um, when they come back to their, you know, obviously vastly different lifestyles, they have a hard time adapting, adapting or, or translating the information or the experience that they had in this, you know, um, um, sort of virginal temple that they went to, to their apartment in a big city and noise and stress. And it's almost like, oh my God, that worked over there, but it doesn't work anywhere else. Um, I think that I noticed that going on in my life and I was like, I, why am I seeking for something that's never going to be there? It's, it's just simply never going to be there. Why am I yearning for something that's never going to happen? I'm never going to have that place that is almost like shielding me from the real world. And, and by shielding me, then allowing me to, um, to pursue finally, finally, it's, it's the, uh, you know what they say? Like, if only, if only, if only, if only, like that's, that's one of those thoughts that just, you know, it, it, um, it kills your, um, your spirit. Diane says, I fantasize about those retreats. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it, the if only, like, if only I had this space, if only I had a bigger apartment, if only I had a studio, if only my kids would let me be for, like, an hour every day, you know, if only, if only, if only. And instead of, because I think that the if only leads you to resentment, I think, um, so instead of becoming very pissed off at my life and saying, you know, oh my God, what did I do? I remember when I was younger, I used to think how much my kids cost me, you know, mm -hmm. as years, some years had passed and I was like, let me do the math to see how much my kids, my Which kids like have cost me. normal thought. Yeah. I think that that's, that's the, there's nothing to be, the, there's no guilt in no. thinking about those things. I think that's totally fine. And when I noticed how much money they had cost up to that point, I was like, oh my God. Like, and the worst thing you can do is start to say what, you know, these are all the things that I could have done with my life and with that money. And because of them, I wasn't able to do that. I think that's the worst thing that we could do. So, you know, when, when we're painting, it's like a small version of that because of them. It's like, because of you guys, I can't do this that I love. I just can't. And they don't understand. Like, yeah, they probably, all they want to do is just be with their mother, with people that, you, you know, love them. So they're not guilty of any of this. You, you can't expect that what has to happen is for them to be incredibly, like, absurdly mature in this conversation. And for your 10-year-old say, you know what, mom, you seem exhausted. Like, I'm going to give you some space. And you deserve time for yourself. I guess it's never going to happen. We should never put our kids to, I'm not saying that you do that, Diane, by the way, but we should never put our kids to, or we should never expect that that's what our kids should do. Um, so I figured, you know what? The only thing then, the only possibility is for me to just be okay with this, to just be okay, you know? So if they run around, I'm working. If... I need to stop and help Fed. Like Fed is like perfect for this, right, Danny? That she's like, oh, I have homework, and and we're doing something. And it's like, oh, I have, I have this homework for tomorrow, or I I got to do. We have to go out and buy this for tomorrow for school. Yeah, and also when she's alone, like she goes to YouTube and watch videos, but she waits to be with you to do the homeworks. Yeah. So it's. A lot more complicating because it's more demanding in that yeah. sense. I mean, and if she's not doing anything like super interesting, she's like, "I'm so bored. I am so bo I don't know what to do with yeah. myself. I'm so bored." Yeah. And um, and you never want your kid to be like. You always want to like your instinct is to be like, "Oh, real. I'm sorry. Like, what can we do? Like, what do you want to do? Um, what do you want to play? What do you want to do?" And or she'll go like, "I want to spend time with you, Dad. 
And yeah. <laughs> that's super sweet. But my point is that, you know, if, at some point you go like, you know what, that's not going to change. That's not going to change. That's just, you know, kids being kids and that's fine. Like we can't, we can't be pissed off at them for just wanting to be with people that love them. So that's what kids are supposed to be. I think kids are supposed to be loved, you know, in this world. That's all. There's the, the only thing they're supposed to feel is love. I mean, they're supposed to be disciplined and yeah, but, but essentially you're supposed to, when, if you're a kid, all you deserve is love. And, um, and I just kind of said, okay, let's, let's try to work alongside them, you know, which of course, um, it's easier now. For you, yeah, the they're old. Age. Yeah, they're a little bit older. Again, ten and fourteen. Yeah, because when you think of small kids, like yeah, I don't know, a two-year, oh a my one god, one-year-old, a three-year-old. I mean, yeah, they need your whole attention. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like you can no get time to do no, your no, no. And I or think anything. And and you, you, we met Danny when when Fed was smaller. Yeah. And um and yeah, they are far more demanding. Far, far more demanding. I, and I think that I, like, my painting time for sure suffered when, yeah. during that period when they were, um, when they were younger. Oh, yeah. for sure. Like, there's no question about it. Uh, no, no question about it. Um, yeah, but Diane yeah, I, says. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Diane. Beautiful. I have one, four, five, and seven years. <laughs> oh, my So, God. yeah, it's, it's Oh, a that's going to be tough. Than, that of I know. Fifteen-year-old. Yeah, I hope people are helping you out. I hope your family's able to help you out. That sounds super tough. That sounds really, really tough. And um, yeah, there's no easy answer to that. That like, I, you have all our sympathy because that's that's gonna be tough. But you know what? Those little moments, like if if you were saying I need to paint, maybe it's not painting for a little bit. Maybe it's just drawing. Maybe drawing is a little bit easier. Maybe just draw when one of them is like sleep or a bunch of them are asleep. And I know that at night it's not like, oh my God, they finally went to bed. Because it's like now it's the time to paint. It's like now forget it. Now it's the time to sleep probably for you also to rest. Um, but whatever those moments are, they meet and they may be super, super small. Just take advantage of them. Just really and not take it. When I say take advantage of them, I don't mean like make a freaking you know masterpiece in those moments like don't, no that's ridiculous but if you have like half an hour or an hour to draw something just draw like enjoy that drawing time enjoy it push yourself obviously but enjoy it like savor that moment and just enjoy it and do whatever it is that you can do in that half an hour or in that in that hour don't judge yourself don't say wow this is not enough this is not nearly enough. This is crazy. No, just whatever you do in half an hour is half an hour's worth of wonderful work. That's perfect. That's so, all you need. Um, Diane said, my four-year-old is battling cancer, so it gets heavy sometimes. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Like, yeah. this is super tough. And you know what I was going to say? This is super, super tough. I mean, you would have time to Oof. paint later. So... Also, oh. enjoy all the time you have with yeah, your kids. Yeah, with your kids. Yeah. Right now, because also they grow up. And you will always have time for painting yeah, or drawing. Yeah, painting but will be you, waiting for you. Yeah, but you won't have kids being kids just for yeah. a tiny bit. So also be with them and enjoy being with them all the time. Because it's yeah. oh. amazing that they can feel your love all the time. So. Yeah, that's, I'm so, so sorry. Like, oof, I can't even imagine, like, what you go through. Like, that is truth. I can't even begin to, uh, like, comprehend a world that feels like yours. So, no, just a lot of strength and just, yeah, what Danny said, like, you know, be with your kids. Like, painting will wait for you. Don't worry. I know that maybe painting helps in some weird way, like... It just helps you cope and deal and maybe it's like this wonderful little not escapism but just that's how you heal and that's why you find it super super important uh to find a space for that uh oof. it's tough it's very very tough 
Um, you know, but, but yeah, I think company, you know, their company is probably the life's biggest gift. So yeah. And, yeah. and, and also if you spend a lot of time with them in the future, when you look back, I'm sure you're not going to have any regrets. Yeah. So just spend a lot of time with them and love them and which I'm sure she I, obviously, of yeah, course she, yeah, she does, but like, like, don't feel bad with yourself for not having time to paint. You would find time when, when you would, I mean, so just enjoy, enjoy the moment you have and the people you have around right now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm reminded that this never, never the same, but when, when my dad was, was sick, um, and he passed away very quickly. Like he had non-Hodgkin's um, and three months afterwards, he, he passed away. But uh, those, I remember I, I had no desire to, I remember I, I drew him once when he was sleeping. And I think there, there, may, there might be that drawing, there, the drawing might be somewhere. But, um, but um, I just remember I wanted to be with him. Like, I, I remember things like, you know, him saying like I would have, I'm like a lizard, so it's usually if I, if it's cold outside, I'm cold. If it's warm outside, I'm super warm. Um, and you know, I tend to in cold places, I tend to be uh, uh, cold. And he, like he always felt his head was super warm, so I would put my hands on his head like that were super cold, and he would just feel like pleasure. <laughs> he would just love it. He would be like, "Oh my god, this is so nice!" Like just feeling coldness in his head. I remember those things. Like I, I never thought of like saying, "Oh, I, I wish I could be painting my dad right now," or or, or like, or it, I. It was surprising to me that I wouldn't. There at no moment I felt the need to. Um, and this can be very different for everyone. But in my in my life, I I never felt the moment to say, "Wow, I need painting to help me deal with this." Um, I just. You know, I realized, no, 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 this is like a life thing. And I, I just need time with my dad to deal with this. And it was nice. And like Danny says, like, I'll never regret it. Never, ever. Like that was time with my dad. I'm super, super happy that, um, you know, that, that those, you know, moments with my dad were, I, I spent, you know, I would spend at my mother's house. I would have lunch with him. I took him to very few, but, you know, to his uh, chemotherapies. I, you know, I just, that's, my dad needed me, I feel. And, and that's, you know, you, you're there for, for the people that you love. Um, but yeah, but painting was never part of that conversation. Now, as I said, painting can be that little part of healing that we need. And we shouldn't feel guilty about wanting or, or feeling that we need those moments. Um, but if we can find a moment with that, you know, if we can find a, a little space for that. I remember my, with my aunt that actually, I, she, she, she had like a, a brain tumor and um, together with my mother. And then, you know, my mother wasn't um, there for, for some weeks, but um, then during those weeks, I, I also took her to chemo. I would draw her and she would be super, super happy, like just watching me draw her. But I never thought of those drawings as like, oh, I'm going to show other people the drawings. No, it was just like, it was, she found it nice that I was drawing her while we were waiting, you know, because chemo is usually like an hour or it can be like an hour and a half. Um, and, um, and she was just happy that I was just doing these drawings and those drawings never saw the light of day. Like nobody needed to see those drawings, but it was just, you know, it was just, um, she found it nice. She she thought that that was nice. That was my way of of like drawing while keeping company. With, you know, and and um, yeah. If if anything, it's just a. Oh, this is super super tough, and we're just finding like ways to make something that is just ridiculously tough a little a little more bearable. So yeah, but um, no, a ton of respect for you. I can't imagine again just just going through that so we yeah. send you a lot of love and yeah, a lot of, of strength yeah and and hopefully you know kids are incredibly resilient so hopefully they you know they bounce back like nothing that you'll ever see in life like they're incredible so so hopefully everything will be 
you know, will be well. So, yeah. So Diane said, uh, thanks for your help. So glad for you, Danny. And some heart uh, emojis. And uh, Diane said, thank you. She's on the mat. It's been over a year. She's doing well. And that's awesome. Good to hear. Uh, thank you. No, that's good to hear. Yeah, Hopefully things will go better with time. So a lot of patience and um and hopefully things will get better yeah so um nttht said my heart goes out for you and your family diane that's good to hear here's to many more years of good health yes uh and they also said time spent painting can never replace time with family but both combined can be a beautiful thing yeah yeah, painting is a very strange and powerful thing, you know. And um, I mean, it's in 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 Pippin's case, and I'm not trying to do a segue because it's impossible trying to talk about you know something that's that's not as as humane humane as Diane's story. But in Pippin's case, he found he found you know um, that that was the way to overcome you know one of the most horrible things that humankind can do that is the atrocities of, of war of going through war so yeah painting is just absurdly absurdly powerful i don't think we even understand how how strong it can be we're, we're just so used to understanding it as just this ability to make kind of nice images that we we forget about the like the truth that's behind um this act so that would prompt a, a soldier to just say, you know what, this is how I'm going to heal myself. Um, it's it's pretty amazing. Um, Julian Caprara. Yep. Dice, chicos, si no es mucha molestia, podrían compartir como escanean slash fotografían sí. las obras, porque a veces me paso más tiempo corrigiendo color en la pintura que pintando en sí. Muchas gracias. Sí, muy duro. Y, y bueno, yo estaba diciendo que ahora, digamos, transicionar a otro tema después de una historia así tan, tan dura es súper difícil. difícil. Sí, es súper difícil. Pero vamos a tratar de hacerlo, o sea, desde, desde entendiendo como un espacio de pintura, como el espacio que nos trae como a todos juntos. Entonces, pero, pero no es por... Eh, pues quisiera como decir que no, no, no es... No es no es fácil ni normal uno decir, no, ah, listo, no. ahora hablemos de otra cosa. No, es, es complejo. Eh, pero bueno, eh, eh, nosotros hacemos dos cosas. Eh, nosotros toma, o tomamos fotos o, o escaneamos. Pero sí, de las cosas complejas que hay en el registro de obra va a ser siempre tratar de, tratar de entender cómo se puede llegar a una imagen que pueda sentirse fiel a, al trabajo que uno está haciendo. Súper, súper difícil. Eh, nosotros peleamos muchísimo con eso porque nosotros tenemos no solo eh, el, digamos, el, la obligación o la responsabilidad de escanear, de, perdón, de, sí, de escanear o de tomar fotografías para hacer ese registro final, sino que hacer un registro, digamos, en tiempo real, que es el video que parezca fiel al trabajo que estamos haciendo en ese momento y eso es dificilísimo. O sea, nosotros no tenemos las condiciones de estudio ni las condiciones de luz como para poder hacer eso bien. Eh, entonces, no, nosotros aceptamos que en vez de frustrarnos así resto por eso, pues eh, somos como como muy honestos con, con ese proceso y decimos, no, hey, hoy peleamos, hoy peleamos resto con el, la, el balance de blancos y, y algo pasó y la cámara se volvió loca y se, eh, se vio muy lo que sea, muy magenta, muy verde, muy azul, lo que sea. Eso pueden ser mil cosas que pasan ahí mientras uno está pintando. Eh, eso todo pues eventualmente se puede ajustar eh, para, para en, en Photoshop para hacer para que uno termine con la mejor de todas las malas versiones que uno tiene de esas imágenes, sí. de esos registros. Pero es muy difícil, es muy, muy difícil. Y aquí no somos ni fotógrafos profesionales que tomamos fotos así de obra plana, 
en un, de nuevo, en un espacio súper controlado, ni cuando estamos haciendo eh, eh, el, el balance de color, eh, el ajuste de color, tampoco tenemos como la cartita esta de color que usan los fotógrafos o, los, o la gente en impresión, la gente en editorial, sí. para tratar de que todo sea como, como o sea, lo más balanceado posible. No, nosotros, creo que Dani y yo somos iguales en eso. Confiamos en nosotros, en nuestro ojo de, de artista y decir, no, y, y, o sea, ¿cómo podemos tratar de acercar esto hacia hacia algo que se sienta un poquitico más fiel. Y énfasis en acercar. Sí. Porque sí. sí no, es, es muy difícil. Incluso con los videos. No, Pues eso tratábamos es... de llegar más o menos a un punto medio entre lo que es la pintura en físico, lo que fue el video y lo que va a ser la imagen de registro. Porque era súper complicado mm. tratar de... como llegar a que fuera la misma imagen, que hablaran de la misma imagen, muy difícil. Sí. Pero, pero sí, confiar también en el ojo para la corrección de color. Sí, y es que eh, si uno toma una fotografía, o sea, da... Yo me he dado cuenta que, por ejemplo, en el, en, con el setup que tenemos de luces, que no es nada, o sea, súper arcaico, pues... Mm. Eh, es súper precario. Nosotros lo que hacemos es rebotar dos luces al techo para que no para que sea todo difuso. Entonces, eso digamos que elimina el, el que haya como unas zonas de la imagen que se sientan brillantes o que haya unos reflejos así súper fastidiosos que normalmente tiene el óleo. Pero el hecho de que sea difusa, de que sea una luz indirecta, pues hace que la pintura sea como más... Mmm, o sea, no se vea tan viva, tan, como, como no tiene una luz iluminándola directamente... Entonces, los, yo, yo me he dado cuenta que los medios tonos se pueden ver bonitos, pero es como una versión súper muertita de, de la imagen. O sea, no, no se siente... Como que se aplana mucho. Sí, no se siente como una pintura, o sea, como una imagen así súper eh, eh, fiel en el sentido de que, de que uno está mm, siendo capaz de... Mm, de mostrar los, el rango que hay, digamos, sí. en contraste, el rango que hay en saturación, el rango que hay en matices, no. Yo creo que muchas cosas se acortan ahí, sí. como que se, se sacrifica eso. Eh, ese es el sacrificio que hacemos tomando una foto de, digamos, del, del, es, de la luz natural con la que trabajamos. La que trabajamos sí. Exacto. Pero cuando uno escanea, pues el, el escáner pues no le importa nada de eso y el escáner lo que pasa es que le bota luz a toda la imagen indiscriminadamente. Entonces, sí. zonas que, por ejemplo, como estas serían oscuras, que son muy ricas, puff, les Se bota tanta luz. luz sí. sí, exacto. Le, les bota tanta luz el escáner que lo rellena de tanta información que es súper complejo uno eh, hacer una imagen que sea balanceada en cuanto a tono en, en un escáner. Es súper difícil el escáner. Por eso, por ejemplo, mata eh, dibujos de grafito. Un dibujo de grafito, no, es... nunca, nunca en la vida... No, porque uno escanea y sale el papel blanco. Sí, o nunca. Sea, es, es, una es, un, es una inundada de, co de, de luz Terrible, sí. que mata todo lo que es sutil del grafito. Entonces, y lo difícil es que si uno toma una fotografía de un grafito, uy, o sea, suerte en tratar de, de, de que todos los tonos se sientan coherentes, porque es casi imposible. Entonces, no, yo creo que antes de pelearle a todo eso, de pelearle muchísimo a todo eso, lo mejor que uno puede decir es que una foto de una pintura no es la pintura, es una foto de una pintura. O sea, es como convencerse de que esto es una foto, es un registro de algo que pues, uno puede tratar de registrar lo más fiel que pueda, pero... Yo, la verdad, nunca he visto imágenes, nunca. Así las vea como en Google, en el proyecto de Google o así las vean donde sea, en las páginas de un museo. O sea, la página oficial del Metropolitano, uno se mete a mirar las reproducciones y siempre que llego es como, uy, esto se, ve, se siente distinto. Sí. O sea, un, yo, yo como observador, yo siempre termino diciendo como, uy, esta es la pintura. O sea, no me imaginaba, y, y obviamente si es una pintura que no conocía, no me imaginaba que esta pintura fuera así. Me la imaginaba de tal otra forma. Porque lo que he visto, o sea, la experiencia visual que he tenido con esa pintura ha sido a través de reproducciones. Y pueden ser reproducciones, por eso, o sea, profesionales. Sí. 
y nunca, nunca van a sentirse igual. Entonces, en, en ese sentido, yo sí creo que uno, uno tiene que empezar como a, a ser un poquitico más... Mmm, no permisivo, pero... Mmm, dejar que las imágenes pues traten, sean el esfuerzo más grande que uno puede hacer para, que, para hablar de la fidelidad o para hablar con fidelidad acerca de lo que ocurre en esas imágenes, pero también entendiendo que uno no va a poder llegar como a, de pronto a ese nivel de fidelidad que uno quisiera. Pues como entender que al final la pintura es la pintura y la imagen es una imagen. O Exacto, sea, no sí. es... Tienen naturalezas distintas. Exacto. Entonces es muy difícil que lleguen a ser completamente iguales, ¿no? Muy difícil. Sí. Eh, Felipe Jaramillo pregunta. Y sí. eh, de una vez te voy a leer otra pregunta. Sí. Que es de eh, un usuario que tiene el username en, en ruso. Sí. Entonces, primero te voy a leer la del username que dice Buenas, usan algún solvente para hacer la pintura. Y la de Felipe Jaramillo dice, hola, espero que hayan tenido un fin de año genial. Les quería hacer una Gracias. pregunta. Sí. ¿El liquid se puede usar en vez del aceite para hacer veladuras? Claro. ¿Y qué hay que tener en cuenta a la hora de aplicarlo? Entonces, si quieres... Entonces, no, no usamos solventes. Esa es como la primera parte de eso. Eh, eh, nosotros como que hemos hecho un esfuerzo así grande por no usar solventes desde hace... Pues en, en mi caso en particular desde hace ya muchísimo, muchísimo tiempo. Eh, por lo menos unos siete años, yo creo. Mm, seis, siete años. Eh, y no he tenido gran problema con esa decisión. Obviamente esa decisión afecta lo que uno puede hacer con una pintura. O sea, técnicamente lo que se puede lograr en, en la pintura. Pero yo soy consciente de eso y estoy bien. O sea, la decisión... Es más una cuestión personal de uno estar tranquilo con las cosas que se van a sacrificar por no usar solvente. Pero la pintura no sufre en lo absoluto. O sea, la pintura no le va a pasar nada por esa decisión que uno toma. Eh, y en cuanto al liquid, sí, el liquid, claro, el liquid se puede usar eh, 100% como un medio de veladura. No es que sea precisamente un medio de veladura como, como lo son los medios de veladuras tradicionales. Eh, pero no importa, no importa porque pues, el, se presta este medio alquídico que es un gel que se va, digamos, fraguando con, mientras se oxida, se presta muchísimo para tratarse como un medio de veladura. Entonces sí, puede funcionar. No igual, no igual que digamos si uno está usando eh, eh, aceite polimerizado, barniz de mar, eh, eh, trementina veneta. Y, y eso disuelto en, en trementina, esas cosas disueltas en trementina, que es lo que sería un, un medio de veladura tradicional. Eh, no es eso propiamente, pero pues puede hacer las de. Y precauciones, eh, no sé, distintas a, al, al, al uso, digamos, eh, al uso coherente de un solvente, de un medio, discúlpenme. No, no, no pensaría que hay unas precauciones eh, que sean particulares al liquid y que no sean, digamos, las mismas que uno debería usar para cualquier otro medio. Entonces, no, el, el mismo, la misma filosofía que se utiliza para pintar con, con un medio tradicional, pues se le debe aplicar a la que se utiliza para un medio alquídico. Um... Chris Coward said, Happy New hey, Year, you guys. Do you ever take a break? <laughs> uh, we, no, we took. We took a break. We've been... A um, break. Yeah, what have we been doing? We've been building Lego. Yeah. A Lego set that Danny gave me for Christmas. That's awesome. Yeah. She gave me the Ecto-1, the uh, Ghostbusters uh, car. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, we're um, almost... Uh, done. Almost okay. done, which is very sad. Yeah. We don't have Legos. We have like that one and the NES. Yeah. NES Lego. Yeah. Uh, and those are super one. cool. Well, we have another NES. <laughs> yeah. In a box. Still. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but we've done that and we have, uh, we are watching Succession, which yeah. a lot of people talked about. We, we don't want any spoilers. No spoilers, no. please, because we are, 
heavily invested. Yeah. We're still in the uh, first uh, season, but we're watching that. It's amazing. That's incredible show. Yeah. Great acting. Great. Great everything. And we've been what? What else? Uh, Sleeping. Nothing you, you've else. You've been playing, maybe. No, I haven't done no? anything. No. Well, I but I before the year ended, I played. I finished um, Guardians of the Galaxy, but I haven't played anything. No. Which is a really good game, by the way. Yeah. I felt it. I thought it was going to be terrible. It's a really good game. Yeah. And, and uh, so yeah, no, we rest and. We've been, we should tell people, what? Danny, that we have um, our Kickstarter page. Oh. It's not live. It's not live. So uh, it's, it's, we're not quite there yet. Let's say we've decided that we're going to yeah. make a book. Yes. And uh, it, it'll probably be up uh, short. Let's say shortly. Because I think that that's, right now we're missing. Honestly, we're missing just a video, a, video. a short video that we want to put out, but yeah. that I think it's good to do it. I don't think it's super necessary, but I think but it's I good. But I think it's necessary, yeah. kind of necessary. Well, necessary. Because well, there's people that don't like to read. <laughs> like they just <laughs> scroll and play the video. Sure, sure, you're right. And I know a lot of people that do that. So I think a video would be like kind of essential. Okay. So, yeah, so maybe I'm downplaying it, but yeah. no. So we're missing that little video. It's like not hugely produced. So oh, no. it'll be um, like our, our Painted really Lives <laughs> uh, style production. Yeah. So th there won't be anything like extraordinary about it. Yeah, but we're uh, happy that we finally decided. Yeah, to yeah, we, we're we going to try and do this yeah. um, and make it work. Well, no, if we do it, we're going to make it work yeah. for sure. But of um, course, we'll let you all guys know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But the we have the page, we have the title of the book, uh, which is nice. Uh, we have just um, we have two tiers, honestly. That's all we're gonna you're offer. Giving everything. Yeah, sure. You know, okay. so it's it's uh, it's information, cool information for the people that are in the uh, in the live streams. I mean, we have to give we have to give something okay. for the people that are here. So, so we have title of the book. So we're not. We won't say no. what title it. No, we we'll wait not for that. that much spoiler, I think I I like the title. Did you? Yeah, do you like cool. the title? Yeah, yeah, I like it. Um, and it's a good way to talk about all the things. Yeah. That happened in two years. Like you're right. To make a tiny like summary. Okay. Of, yeah. Of all the things, so it's a a good title. I yeah, think. I think so too. Um. We are also what? Are, what else do we have? Well, we have everything set up, but and we have uh, price points. We discussed a lot. Yeah. We discussed that a, quite a lot. Yeah. Um, it would be printed overseas. It would be printed in China. Um, what else do we do? We know no, it's going to be. It will. It's going to be the largest, the long, not long, largest, not largest, longest book we've ever printed. So, so that's pretty good. A lot of pages. Yeah, a lot of pages, a lot of nice reproductions. Yeah. It's going to be a coffee table art book. So yeah. we're going to go back cover. to a large size. So that's going to be cool. Yeah, and hardcover. Of yeah, hardcover. Yeah. So a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Um, hopefully, I mean, hopefully it'll get us in enough problems, but problems that we can solve, I feel. But I'm sure that new problems are going to arise. I mean, as as much as as much experience as we've had for with the last two books, I don't think you ever kind of um, everything every every new project has new things to teach you. Yeah, but there's lessons that we've learned. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So, yeah, so shipping would be done from. The, the U.S. Yeah. and we would do all the packing uh, personally yeah. and shipping personally, so that guarantees like well, I mean, at least from our end, yeah. as the, you know, like you can be we sure can't... that we are going to do all yeah the, all that is like between our in nuestras manos como <laughs> in our uh, like in our hands yeah in <laughs> yeah. our yeah 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 okay. Everything that's in our hands, in our power, in yeah. our power, yeah, to make like to give the best shipping. Possible. Yeah, so, so like, packing, yeah. packing, and doing. I think we're going to do postage through stamps.com, which is a pain, but it's probably the most efficient yeah. way to do it. 
Um, it's going to be USPS because if we are sending through uh, from the US, it's, it's still the best the option to, to yeah. send locally and to send um, internationally. Uh, yeah, because overseas, because that book, FedExing that book would be a pain. Over a hundred bucks, I'm sure. More. Yeah, probably a hundred and twenty bucks. Yeah. Probably around. If it, I'm speculating, but I think it's a, it's an educated guess based on all the paintings and books that we've, you know, sent throughout, you know, many years. But yeah. Yeah. So it's it's super exciting. I mean, yeah. we the hardest part was for us to be convinced about it. Yeah. And well, I. Not the hardest. <laughs> I think so. I don't think. I, you know, well, a, a new, a host of new problems may come by, you but know. But let's hope it was the hardest. I mean, yeah. But I think, crossed, but I think mentally, hardest. mentally, it's it's probably like the hardest thing is to say, okay, let's do this. Oh, yeah, of course. Because I, I don't know if it happens to you, but in my mind, like, as soon as I say, let's do this, like, okay, like I'm there. you're in it. Yeah. Yeah, that and, happens to me too. And that's why I was like, okay, I need to be completely sure that we want to go through this hell again <laughs> and um and yeah yeah so we're gonna give it a shot we're gonna give it a shot once again because you know we talk a lot about the uh the sketchbook uh danny the the book that we printed before yeah and you know I, it makes me super super sad that that to me was a super important project like really really important project and it was just it was like Super big part of why we're doing the Our Painted Lives. Oh, for, oh, for sure. This yeah. wouldn't exist if without that without that, that, that project. Yeah. So, so, and you were with me throughout all the everything, yeah. the, all the things that went wrong with that book. Ups that and were downs, yeah. yeah. And you know what makes what's even more frustrating that there are things that we don't control. Yeah. I mean, those are those were things that just we had no control over. That's what's frustrating yeah. because I've often said this, but I'm fine with messing up. Like, I'm totally fine. I think that that's human. You can expect things to go wrong, and sometimes you make bad decisions. And I'm at a point in my life where I can say, you know what? It's my fault. I messed up. I'll own up to it. Like Yeah, but it's different. When it's another person yeah, that's but messing it's up, something completely but you're the different. one that has to answer. Exactly. When you are responsible, yeah. but it is outside of your hands. And I had never Super felt that. I don't think I had ever felt that in my life. No, it was terrible. And it is, it is devastating. Yeah, because I remember you calling. and they, No, it is devastating. They... I even cried. Yeah. Like, I even cried. Like, literally. Cry. No, but I mean, so, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm such a man's not, man that nah, I don't cry. It has nothing to do but with I don't cry easily. Let's put it like that. Yeah. I was crying. I was like, it was just out of my reach and yeah. out of everything. And it's those moments that you feel like, I don't know what to do. I really don't. Yeah. I really, like, I can't give, I, I remember like, I even opted to send a bunch of, uh, um, I, um, what do you call that? I sent the money back for a bunch of people. I, 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 uh, re, uh, yeah, I refunded so many people like out of my own pocket. It was ridiculous, ridiculous. And people that eventually got their books, but I just, I felt so bad with everything that was going on. Which that doesn't it, make sense. I mean, I know, it but it, I way, always told you yeah, it gives it me peace of mind. Of saying, I want to be done with this project and I want to answer to the people that bought the book. But it was also terrible because you ended up paying. Like you took the money out of your pocket, not even of the money you gain from the project or the money you receive. No, anything. It was your money. So, yeah, but we're hoping uh, that this book, this yeah, like what I was, process is... Yeah, what I was going to say is like, it's it saddened me that something that was so nice, like the the genesis of that project yeah. was so nice and kind of pure and in my eyes was so beautiful that I don't have a good memory of it. I really, really dislike that I just didn't end up having a good memory of it because of the uh, the whole printing process and, well, because and of shipping issues. You and... even thought for a period of time that you were not going to do any more books ever. oh no oh for sure i i, mean, I think i even done. said it i think i'm done i think yeah. i said like i'm done with this like this is ridiculous because like, also it was 
not a super good idea to ship the things from Colombia. And no, we, it was. We learned that the hard way. It's absurd. Like yeah. people will never understand how expensive that was. Yeah. Like we we don't we we talk about it, um, and and sometimes people think we're being hyperbolic. Oh no! Oh no! Like it was. It crushed us. Like it was the most ridiculous um, thing we could have ever done to try and ship from here. Yeah. But it was the only. Only chance only we had. We, yeah. yeah. The only thing we could do to honor like the project. But now, now we're going to we, ship from the U.S. Yeah. So now now I have like, a, you know, business account in the U.S. I have everything set up in the U.S. Uh, so and and my brother was uh, super kind to, to tell us, you know, we are up for it. Like we can we you can, can have you guys here, here yeah. for as long as you need. Um, so because shipping... Let's say, Danny, I mean, pie on the sky. I don't know if you know that expression, Danny. Pie on the sky, I it's like don't. pie on the sky is like the best possible outcome that is highly unrealistic. Okay. So pie on the sky, we we do this thing and it's a thousand books. Like a, mm -hmm. we can sell a thousand yeah. books, which That's is crazy. Cool. Yeah, it's crazy. We've never sell we've we've never been able to sell a thousand books. Yeah. Um So that's pie on the sky. But a thousand books, packing and shipping a thousand books, I think that's like four weeks yeah. of work. And like that work, would be like, like every, a 24 hour yeah, marathon. Yeah, like every day a working. Marathon, every yeah. day, like, you know, boxes. But you know, boxes. we're up to it. I mean, oh, hell yeah. We can do it. Oh, hell yeah. No, no, no. I'm like, we would, we would be like that. This is our job. Like we would have our little truck. And we just take our truck and yeah. drive it to the post office, which is like two blocks away, <laughs> yeah. two blocks away from my brother's house. Yeah. But we, I would love to just, you know, haul like a hundred, you know, 200 books a day. No, not what am I saying? Like maybe a hundred books. No, not yeah. even a hundred. Packing a hundred books, Danny, it's like crazy, craziness no, every day. Books, I was like, yeah, I know. What am I saying? So if we do like 60 books a day, mm -hmm. maybe that's, you know maybe 60 70 books a day we could do that yeah we could do that yeah. uh it's crazy it's kind of crazy and we could spend four weeks doing that yeah i feel um again that's a lot of work but um uh, you know mentally i think we'd be up for it yeah. so no and we're happy to tell you guys that we decided to make the book but that's like so. pie in the sky you know i don't i don't think we we can sell those many books. I really don't. So, um, so it, it's probably a much more realistic um, count of, of there's going to be a much more realistic uh, number of books that, that are going to be shipped, um, which is going to be less, less, uh, less work for us. It's still going to be a ton of work. You know, you, you kind of try to find that sweet spot where, it, where it's just worth it, you know, Where it's like, okay, this is going to be a ton of work, but going through it is going to be cool, and um, probably not a, a lot of money left behind. In in bigger uh, projects like that, you can ask for a uh, for a higher price, and I hope everyone understands why self published books, especially self published art books, tend to be more expensive. Yeah, because for example, um, GP was asking your publisher can ship for you that's something some print houses will offer yeah and that's but, the thing yeah we are self-published we are editors, the editors and publishers we, yeah i was gonna say we are editors and, and publishers and of, of our project yeah. i'm gonna be honest here i for a long time looked for people that would be interested in doing all that work for us you know danny knows this yeah For a fact, I wrote to a ton of publishers and nobody cares. That is the truth. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Nobody cares. Nobody. So so it's a, it's a really nice way of realizing, you know what? F them. Like, do your book. Like, do the book that we want to do. And fuck it. Like, you do it. Like, we're going to do it. It's a, it. it's a ton of work for sure and sadly 
you know, we have to ask for more money because everything's going to be done on our end. So, you know, think about plane tickets, think about um, shipping materials that we have to buy. Think about just the, the, the amount of time that is going to be spent, not just in the production of the book, not just in the kind of editing and, and um, designing of the book, but just the, the, the time, the, you know, 24 hours a day, because, well, no, it's not going to be literal 20. Every time I say 24 hours a day, I think we have like a new meaning for that, Danny. Now, yeah. but um, yeah, but every single day for four, five weeks, we're going to be, you know, packing, you know, our logistics is going to be like packing, shipping, packing, shipping, packing, shipping. So, um, so all of that has to go into consideration. And hopefully people, I think people have been cool with the books that we've done in the past, understanding that. Yeah. But yeah, we don't have a publisher. But the reason that we don't have a publisher is because nobody, you know, at least I'm not going to well, say nobody. Yeah, but the people that I approached, none of them were interested. Yeah, but also we like doing this for our own. I yeah. Mean, like yeah. alone. You and I yeah, made yeah. the project. So you and I are going to make the book. And that's cool too. I mean, yeah. it's not like, Oh we, no! We, oh we no! Like, I'm not. Oh, fuck it. oh yeah! No no! I'm not. Like, I'm not like. like saying, I'm not yeah. sitting here like complaining. No no no! It just means that, you know, it's super cool when all you have to do, or well, cool, you know, if that's what you, you like. want to do. But yeah. it's super cool if all you have to do is like a, a Kickstarter, you know, project. Yeah. And you just like, and promote the hell out of that. Yeah. And, and then, then sit back. And then you get, I don't know, a hundred thousand dollars and you give that to the publisher. Well, that you, you don't, even don't even get, get that money. Yeah, no. I was gonna say what? You know, uh, the publisher I mean, gets like a hundred K. Yeah. And then they start the production of the book. But here's the thing, like, and this literally, I'm not gonna name names, but I know this for a fact. Like, what usually happens is that they're gonna go like, Okay, let's do a very cool book. And they'll tell you, you know what, production costs were um sixty grand. Production and shipping is going to cost you 70 grand. So we're going to split that. And you go like, really? It costs 70 grand? Like what? We couldn't have made that cheaper or better, but not sacrificing quality. But that's the cost. So, you know, they're going to make money on their end in the production for sure. They're not going to be like, you know what? This is your work. You are the one who's putting like all this stuff together. Yeah, and Leah you... says, and don't forget how much Kickstarter takes. Oh yeah, ten percent, ten percent. No, so... not even ten percent. It's a little bit more. Yeah, because that's what I was gonna say. Also, if you work with someone else, you have to pay. No, it's almost ten percent. I'm sorry. I think. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember. But yeah, the point is, we are going to make this alone. We're very happy to tell you guys. And of course, we're going to let you know when we have the Kickstarter live. Yeah. So you can, if you want, you can go and oh, support yeah, yeah. us by getting a book, which would be amazing. Or by getting, uh, if you haven't said the other tier. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I th and I think we talked about this one. So this one shouldn't be a surprise, but... Um, so there's two tiers. It's, there's only going to be a book. There's going to be one regular one for a book. And that's, you know, hopefully the book itself will be, will be attractive enough so that people say, wow, that's super cool. We don't need anything else. Like, um, uh, usually, uh, I've noticed, I mean, I noticed this like years ago, seven years ago when we did the first or six years ago when we did that first yeah. book. Um, yeah, Kickstarters are they're sometimes complicated. They have like a thousand tiers yeah. and it's like, oh, this is another stretch goal and we're going to do pins and another stretch goal and we're going to do tarot cards or whatever. I don't know. And uh, we don't have anything like that. Like I, I tend to believe in things that instead of trying to do stuff that you're not good at, just try to do what you know how to do and do it well. I, I really much rather concentrate on that. So if if all we can offer is just a really cool book, like let's make a super kick-ass book. Uh, so there's going to be the the regular tiers is going to be plain and simple. It's going to be that book. That's it. And there's going to be another tier, and it's going to be open. We're we're probably again, you know, I'm being we're super realistic. To a this larger number that we think we're gonna yeah, get. I think this is the largest. Like a lot 
larger than yeah because we usually are our painting um rewards were never open to this large no you know to this large of a number um but i think it it'd be super interesting to do it but it's going to be open to 100 people and um it's going to be called like the artist edition so what um what people can do is just tell us who their favorite artist is and then you know i'll paint it i'll do a, a you know a 10 10 well, by 10 yeah 10 by 10 inch yeah because the book is going to be no, 11 no, well, I, I already away. said coffee table i i said okay. coffee table so it's hard to not you know that means because i like the surprise i know factor of it but yeah yeah it's an 11.2 11.2 by, by 11.2 11 11 inch uh, book. book so the painting would be 10 by 10 it would be a square painting uh of you know whatever artist you want you know you want us to paint and um understanding that it's uh you know it is a commission of sorts but it you know you're granting me the liberty to do my personal interpretation of uh of that you know artist of that particular artist yeah. um because the last thing i want is like people sending it back then he's like oh my god this no cause whatever that's not, no cause it, it's not for some reason johnny depp can't you know i don't know crept into my brain and maybe it's because i have uh, the uh, jack sparrow here little uh, figure no but it's but, um, not a commission so they can't right back. but i mean it's you know it's not like oh my god this sucks you know i, I thought it was going to be a better painting yeah no 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 if if you hopefully you know what you're getting. Like, you know what sort of no, and I know paintings if, I do. Like, and if they're uh, supporting us with that tier, of course they know what they're getting. I Yeah, you're I mean, right. And, I hope so. And they have, like, more than 400 videos and paintings. Right. I, I think they've seen us do enough yeah. paintings so that it's not, like, my uh, my part in this would would be to say, that's what you're going to get. Yeah. So let's Period. say that there's not going to be any returns. So, so it's so like, like oh, it's horrific. like our painted lives soup du jour. The, the uh, th that's the daily soup. Like uh, you know, it's our special. It's like uh, our, it's like our. Well, yeah, it wouldn't be our soup du jour. It would be like our specialty, our house specialty. Then happy maybe if our house specialty was a soup. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, anyways. That's that's what we're gonna try and do. Yeah. Um, so let's see the comments. Um, I think we said everything except the title of the book. I think we ruined everything. You, yeah. Me? But you know, I, I was like quiet, and you. Were like, I know, but you know what? The size. The, oh no, we haven't said the. If you build it, they will come. Like if you talk about it, now you have to do it. But so you, you know my philosophy. You haven't said the amount of pages, which is amazing, because I would like that to be. A no, surprise. but now people people are gonna think it's like Bible. No, it's going to be larger than the ones. So no, we've done. No, 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 I'm not going to say. <laughs> but we've so, done. Uh, our past books have been 152 pages. Um, both? No. I think so. No, I don't think the mm. um, OPL. Oh, the list. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was. They're the same page. Same page count. For okay. sure. Yeah, I remember this. Like, exactly. Um, so they're both the exact same pages. Um but we're going to do it so it's going to be let's say significantly <laughs> no significantly now sounds a lot the more number in like five yeah minutes. i know so i'm gonna start with the questions no 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 uh, 200 pages no. <laughs> yeah it's 200 pages it's, it's gonna be 200 funny. pages it's no, gonna be that's awesome not funny. I oh that come to on be a surprise. the title is gonna be the so surprise let's cut it we got it. people are gonna have to get excited about this. let's cut it and we I'm are very excited it. about this so <laughs> I'm gonna make the questions now. Okay. So, I'm gonna read. I'm not gonna. Make you know, the I couldn't questions. hold it. I can't hold it. No, ne nothing. Not ever. If you want to, uh, if you want a secret to die, tell me about it. So Leah said, "Is this painting in the book or a separate piece of paper? It is gonna be in a separate piece of paper." Um. Because I think they're asking for the reward. Oh, this painting or no, is... no, no, the reward. Because they asked when we were talking about the rewards. So if oh no, it's, it'll rewards... it'll come se yeah, it'll come separate. Because I think, oh, that would be tough. I mean, I could try maybe on the end papers. No, but it's better. It would to be have interesting. It... No, but I think it's better to have oh. it apart. Yeah, it would be a pain. No, 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 and let's let's be honest here. The the 
date in which the book would be shipped depends on the making of those paintings. Mm -hmm. So let's say if a hundred people are interested, which I, again, I, I think that this can be super tough. Um, it's going to take a little bit to do a hundred cool paintings. Yeah. So, and I have to do those paintings here and then travel with those paintings to then um, pack them separately and ship them, you know, with the book. So yeah, logistics would be very tough to do it with the book. No, I, I think. think it's better to have it in a separate piece of paper. Because also if someone wants to hang the painting or yeah. give the painting to someone as a gift or yeah, frame you're right. the painting, whatever, they we can have do that it with our, freely. So. You know that we have that with our uh, Dorian Vallejo yeah, uh, no. book? Yeah, I know. It's one of the most beautiful drawings I've ever seen because Dorian, Dorian is like crazy talented. I mean, whoa, he's one of the most talented people I've ever met in my life. And and we got one of his books that it has uh, a drawing in in the end papers in the front end papers. Yeah. And um, and uh, yeah, I mean it's gorgeous, but you can't do anything with that drawing yeah. because you you just it's you know I many times book, just so. open the book and just look at it like like uh, drool over the drawing, but it's there. Yeah. And, so oh, yes, no, go, go, ahead. Ahead, go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. <laughs> no, I no because I think I was done. So. Okay. Honestly. You were like stretching. Yeah, I was just the same idea. I was saying no, yes, yes, no. So let me read the comments about okay. the books. So Chris it Coward. Sucks. No, stop it. So Chris Coward says, "Glad you two have had time to chill too. Another book. This is good news. I have sent your scene. Hopefully, you get it soon. When it it when it gets here, I'll be super happy. And if it gets here, like Chris, I'll be honest. Like Danny knows this." We have bought a ton of stuff from the UK, Chris, and, and it, it doesn't get here. Well, they haven't get here. Or they haven't gotten here. But yeah. I kind of know how long it usually takes. So with a lot of things, I've lost, you know. I mean, my faith is still there. But honestly, a lot of things that we have bought never reached us. And that's fine. Honestly, we're, we are fine with that. We we have become very, you know, with COVID, with um, with the stress that shipping has under undergone worldwide, we have been very we have learned how to be very very accepting of those things. So especially especially being here in in Colombia. So, so um, yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. Because I'm gonna read a lot of comments. So oh, she, okay, go ahead. I'm gonna like shut up. I'm gonna shut up and paint. <laughs> shut up and paint. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Gustafsson, which I think is maybe AJ, AJ of course, yeah. is saying, I think I missed some of the announcements because I can't commit to listening in to all of the lives. What will be the best way to not miss the Kickstarter announcement? Oh, maybe you just answered my question. It's a little reward. It's a little reward for the live listeners. No, so we're, we're just giving like a tiny, um... Yeah, a little Spoiler. bit of it. Yeah. But no, when when we when we're going to launch the book, we would let you know by the, uh, Instagram. I think yeah. everywhere we can do like an Instagram post. We can share the tiny video. Yeah, a block party. YouTube. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um invite JLo for a block party. When we were talking about the video that yep. we didn't know if it was necessary or not. For the Kickstarter. Yeah. Liad said the video is essential. Danny is right. Yeah. Um, Sara Palacios is asking, when do you guys plan on publishing the book? So the campaign, let's say in a near future, because we don't have it. Yeah. Date. Campaign right will be. And like I said, um, the, the availability, just the physical availability of the book depends on the reward program and i hope people understand that yeah. like um because that um i know it sounds like oh through the reward program like that's where you're getting money and honestly not really that's where you're subsidizing a lot the of the other costs yeah so yeah so um so yeah so it's dependent on that on knowing how many paintings we have to make I hope that makes sense. We're being super transparent about this. Mi prima dice, quiero uno. 
Ay, muy querida. De Niam Hughes says, as if you weren't busy enough. Oof. Oh, That's we're gonna... super exciting, though. Yeah, we like to keep ourselves busy. So, <laughs> good. Um, eh, Malvini Tías dice, oye, Nicolás, ¿cómo haces tus libros? ¿Los mandas a hacer en Estados Unidos y desde allí los envías? ¿O los haces en Colombia? Si quieres, déjame, termino las preguntas en inglés. Sí, señora. Y ahorita... <risa> sí, señora. Y ahorita le respondemos <risa> ahorita a Malvini Tías. Para también, de pronto, hacer un resumen chiquito en español. Porque la gente sí. que habla español de pronto no escuchó lo que estábamos diciendo. Sí, señora. Eh, Noel C. dice, necesito ese libro para acompañar el más reciente de Ruprecht que tengo en la mesa. Muy lindo, nosotros también lo tenemos. Eh, Sergio G. says, shipping stuff from the US to the UK is so expensive. Oh, it's crazy. Frog Menstein says, awesome as usual. Uf, I don't know how to pronounce. Go for it. It's C T H U L H U. Oh, Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Yeah. Said, "Love your work, bro. Thank you Thank for you. your for your sharing your skills with us. Happy New Year." Happy New Year. Are your books still available? So. Oh uh, no, past books, no. no, not anymore. But now uh, there's gonna be a new book available. But this year, let's say this year, there there will be a book available. Um, Brandon. Monsi said, the OPL book is a real treasure. I Thank look you. through it often. Thanks for sticking with it and making such a beautiful book. I'm oh, looking thank forward you. to backing the new book as well. Oh, thank oh, you so much. So nice. Thank you. Yeah, that book was a very personal, um, very, very personal endeavor, I feel. Liad said, a thousand books divided 30 days is 33.3 books a day. Um, Liad says, do you have a price point already? Yeah, we do. We do. But we'll share that. Price. Yeah, we'll share that. Yeah, Danny's like, <laughs> yeah. no more today. I'm gonna silence your mic. <laughs> no <laughs> more today. Um, GP was asking, where are you guys in the process? Have you designed the book yet? The, that part is not super tough because we have all the art. Yeah. And um, there's going to be some writing accompanying the book. I always enjoy that part. So we have a very, let's just say we have a super clear idea of what we want to do. We have done both, uh, we have done three. Well, well, I'm, I, we have done, we as Danny and I as editorial partners, let's say, mm -hmm. we have done two. Uh, yeah. I have done three, three yeah. books already. So yeah, that part doesn't, you know, that, that part doesn't really phase us. We have the most important part, which is the, um, Reproductions of the paintings, the uh, files. Uh, and we, we have, have an idea all of it. Of yeah, exactly. We want it to be. Yeah. So, so putting it together, honestly, it's not going to be tough. That's not the tough part. Sergio G says, I backed one project where, where there were stretch goals, only went to improving materials of the book, the cover quality, the page paper, the that kind of things. Um... Raúl Fontaniels Jr. says, "Can we? When can I give you my money already?" <laughs> <laughs> no, th yeah, throwing money at my screen right now. No, but thank um, you, thank you for being interested. Oh no, that in a book. That's me. That's I bought. Um, I, I think Phil Hales and um and Ruprecht as soon as I knew about them. And I backed Evan, Evan Amundsen's, I backed as soon as I knew about it. And I did, I paid like the highest tier for that one. Mm -hmm. um, incredible, incredible book too. So there's a bunch of people. Like if, could you imagine if Ben, like if Benjamin put out a book? Oh. Oh my God. I would just throw, like I would be putting money as in like a, a like a soda machine. <laughs> Just, I would be putting money through my, like, computer drives just to, just to, I would be immediate. I think I would be the first person. Like, I'm not kidding. If he said, okay, you know, I'm going to put out a book and it comes out, like, the drop is at whatever, you know, time, whatever day, midnight, I would be the first person. Everything. I, ha I would have everything set up to do, like, a one-click, you know, buy. Oh, my God. Miguel Fonseca dice, súper emocionado por el nuevo libro, Nicolás. Muy lindo, Miguel, muchas gracias. Irvin Torres says, just joined. Can you sum up what you said about the book? Sorry. 
Uh, so we just a super, super short summary. Uh, we both decided that we're doing it. That's the cool part. So, um, and it's going to be shortly, shortly as in the next, um, I'm going to say, let's say a couple of weeks just to be, just to give ourselves a little more time. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's going to be, so it's a, it's real. It's real. It's, we're still going to be, I'm still going to be super nervous. Yeah. Danny, I, to be honest, like Kickstarter projects are horrible. Yeah. They're, they're terrible. I remember my mother would say, I'm not even looking at that page. I don't want to see it. I don't want to look oh, at it. Oh, no, they're terrible. I remember. Yeah, the they're, they're very, very stressful. Yeah. Super, super stressful. I was like refreshing the page. And super a book scared. is never like, a book is never like, a, you know, one of these things that blows up. Oh, like the card games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like tabletop games yeah. or, or, or just like can openers that take care of your kids. I don't even know what people are doing nowadays, but yeah, they, they're never like products that suddenly, you know, a million people want. No, it's just, it's a book. It's an art book. It's just trying to be a nice art book. So, but that doesn't take away of the oh, nerves. No. Oh yeah. Not at as all. But even if it's like a smaller become... project, uh, I mean, in Kickstarter terms, um, it's, it's ridiculous. Like you could, I, I get super, super nervous. Um, Siebe said... Hey, it's it Siebe... Yeah. Okay. Siebe Van... Dam? Van Dam, of course. I would have thought you would take at least a break for a week after that 24-hour session. It felt like a, it felt like a week-ish, no, maybe? It <laughs> no, it didn't. No? No, it didn't. A little bit. It's okay. Danny's like, no. It felt like idiot. two days. Okay. That's what it was. But <laughs> no, I'm joking. But of course, it didn't feel like a week. No, I don't know. About? I no. don't know. It felt it felt way too long. <laughs> you know that if I don't paint for uh, for quite, if I don't paint for a few days, I get kind of angsty. Like it's just that's how I am. I it's not. This is not new. This is not like oh, this is your channel and you're trying to you know work like no no no. I just you know I just love to paint. It it just um. Painting kind of eases my anxiety. So I don't do it just to work more, like like to create like these absurd like work habits. Um no no no. It's just when I work I'm I'm like super at peace. So you know, it's just I, I kind of search for for those moments that I can paint. So AJ says, I haven't purchased from Kickstarter before. Did you say you'll announce when it's ready to purchase by only listening to your live sessions? No. I'm sorry, I can't usually catch the whole session. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. no. And so instantly. usually, yeah, usually for the people that don't know, there is, uh, I think we're going to do it 60 days. We're going to open it for 60 days. Yeah. You, can, oh, you could open it. Nowadays, Kickstarter can open it indefinitely. It used to be 30 days or 60 days back, oof, back, way back. Um, but, uh, nowadays you can, you can open it indefinitely. Uh, so if we wanted to say, Hey, it's open till, you know, November, let's say, um, and people can just, um, maybe the people that are like early birds get a price and people that get it like later that want the book later, they, they get like a different like price that's slightly more expensive. But no, I think we're going to do it for 60 days. Yeah. Um, it's usually better if it's just a, a, a very finite ca campaign. campaign. Yeah. Um, but we're going to let you know by Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. And there's there's enough time. post and everywhere. Yeah, know? yeah. To give us a chance of this yeah. being successful or, or remotely successful. Um, yeah, we're going to have to not promote the crap out of it. I don't think we ever promote the crap out of anything. No, but, um, maybe but Silver are, Falcons. <laughs> but we are going to promote it because oh, we, we would to. really like uh, to make it. I mean, to yeah. get to the goal we yeah. said and to be able to produce the book. So, yes, yeah. we are going to promote the company. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's yeah. fun to be able to... Um, to do a project like that. So, yeah. Uh, and if it's smaller, that's fine. Like, we will happily 
put all our effort into this smaller, you know, edition. So no, we'll we'll be happy with whatever whatever comes our way, we'll be happy with. Liet was asking, have you talked to anyone about Kickstarter marketing? There is a whole system to it. Oh, I'm sure. But yeah, I, but, but we, Liat, come on. We are have you seen us? <laughs> have you seen our painted lives? We are clearly not like your mainstream we we don't do things the way you're supposed to do things to make money. We we do we do things uh OPL style, which means we just make things harder for ourselves mm -hmm. and we end up working, you know, thrice the amount of time you should work and um yeah but you know what again peace of mind like that's what makes it sort of easy for us so um so yeah we're gonna stubbornly um stubbornly be faithful to our own very inefficient ways of going about doing things listo ahora sí eh, si quieres en español podemos sí. hablar un poquito de la noticia. Sí, vamos a hacer un proyecto del... Ah, pensé que ibas a armar más... ¿Más bombo? Sí, no, como... ¡Uhú! -huh, ¡Viva Colombia! Colombia! No, ya ahora se fue la gente. Ta -ta -ra 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 eh, vamos a... Vamos a... Vamos a hacer... Finalmente decidimos hacer el, el libro que, digamos, conmemora. Conmemora. Eso será muy formal, sonará muy... No, es no. bonito. Sí, no. Conmemora. Pues, y conmemora. El... Conmemora eh, los, los dos años, los dos primeros años de nuestro proyecto. Entonces, finalmente nos decidimos. Y, es, y decimos como finalmente porque es que, pues, hemos pasado por muchas experiencias, unas increíbles, otras no muy gratas, en la parte de producción y envío de, de proyectos editoriales anteriores. No se asusten. O sea, igual... ¿Y por qué se iban a asustar? No, 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 porque dices, hemos pasado por malas experiencias. Ah, no, todas, todas se resolvieron. Hecho. Todas Exacto. se resolvieron. Sí, sí, Lo sí. que pasa es que fueron difíciles. Fueron momentos, momentos así súper difíciles de crecimiento eh, eh, y de maduración eh, profesional. Eh, pero, pues, cosas complejas. O sea, eh, cosas que uno dice, no, y yo... O sea, es crecer, es lo mismo que crecer, es como pagar por primera vez impuestos, es como mirar una declaración de renta por primera vez en la vida y uno dice, ¿qué? ¿Qué está pasando? Eh, es eso, es ese tipo de cosas que, que uno no, como que no son súper atractivas, pero que uno, uno termina haciéndolas para, para poder hacer un proyecto que uno un proyecto personal que uno tiene en mente, poder hacerlo realidad, pues hay veces toca hacer un montón de cosas que uno no, no se imagina o no se espera. Eh, pero entonces eh, habíamos dudado mucho en, en hacer, en si queríamos hacer otro proyecto editorial, pero lo vamos a hacer, va a ser muy chévere, va a ser el libro más, eh, más largo que hemos hecho en términos del de número de páginas, sí, entonces también eso puede ser muy chévere, muy bonito. El libro no lo vamos, la primera vez que el libro no lo vamos a imprimir aquí en Colombia. Uh -huh. Nosotros siempre hemos sido súper, eh, eh, apoyamos pues la industria local eh, y los libros anteriores, tres libros anteriores que son súper bonitos, se han publicado acá. Pero tuvimos problemas. Pero la cantidad Muchos de problemas, problemas que tuvimos en la edición anterior fue... Y problemas también en, el, en la respuesta cómo se respondió sí. hacia esos problemas, o sea, sí. la respuesta para esos problemas, entonces... Entonces nos desinfló mucho, o sea, sí. seguramente parte de la esa decisión de... o el sentir que la decisión era difícil de, de considerar volver a hacer un libro fue porque la experiencia profesional, profesional, eh, con, con la impresión del libro anterior fue, fue una cosa compleja, fue una... Una cosa de pelear, de eh, llegar a sentarse con una junta de personas, ¿te sí. acuerdas? O sea, para explicar... Para explicar... Para explicar por qué habían hecho mal... El trabajo. Cuando arreglaron lo que ya habían hecho mal antes. Sí, o sea... O sea sí, como no... lo que arreglaron no lo arreglaron bien, sino que dañaron otra cosa y empeoraron lo que estaban tratando de arreglar. O sea, fue... Y ellos aceptando esto. Esto no somos nosotros como de... Uy, qué no, manera no, no, no. lidiar con... Esto. No, 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 no. Son ellos diciendo... Todo, sí, todo esto fue ellos aceptando que fueron dos, o sea, dos errores que cometieron que obligaron a volver, volver a, a imprimir... Todo. Sí, volver sí. a imprimir un libro que es una cosa absurda. O sea, los, 
Los costos de tiempo en volver a tener que hacer un libro son absurdos, absurdos. Entonces, volver, o sea, literalmente estamos diciendo volver a imprimir un libro de ceros, o sea, todo el li todo, Hablando todo el libro. Un libro. O sea, volver a sí, eran dos. una cadena de... Y esa edición eran dos, dos libros. libros. Por eso fueron sí. en total 800 libros. Sí, créanme que... Porque eran sí. 400... No, mi amor, 700, eran mil, casi 1500 ¿What? libros. Yo pensé que eran... Ah, sí. No, el anterior. Sí, sí, sí. Fueron sí. 800... Sí, eran casi... 800, no, eran ¿no? casi 700, 700 y picho, casi, bueno, casi 1500 libros. No, una locura. Sí, entonces, no, eso fue, eso fue una barbaridad. Pero lo vamos a imprimir en China. O sea, lo vamos a imprimir donde tradicionalmente se imprimen un sitio donde se imprimen libros de arte, o sea, se pueden imprimir, se puede imprimir cualquier cosa. Entonces, lo vamos a imprimir en China, esperamos que, que nos vaya bien en ese proceso. Ese proceso también va a ser nuevo seguramente sí. y sí, va sí. a ser un proceso de importación, o sea, seguramente va a traer como nuevos retos así súper chéveres, pero vamos a hacerlo. Eh, es un libro de... Lo vamos a enviar desde los Estados Unidos. Sí, pero... Como hablando del formato del libro. Ah, es un libro de esos de mesa, de lo mesa. que llamamos libro de mesa. Sí. Sí, entonces lo que en, ingl en, en inglés se llama como coffee table, uh -huh. que quiere decir que es un libro de unas dimensiones pues particulares. Entonces, para los que han tenido el libro, para los que conocen ese libro Painter, es parecido a ese libro. Incluso ¿Es el libro Painter, o sea, el libro, el libro anterior tuyo. Painter, sí, el libro, eh, no, el, no el anterior, porque acuérdate que hicimos una reedición pequeña, se fue como el, el extra que hicimos para el libro pasado sí. eh, no, el, el original es un poco más grande, ese, ese sería un poquito más grande que el que vamos a hacer ahora pero sí, es que ese, este libro, ese de... libro fue muy sui generis, fue una cosa absurda, digamos en, en formato y en peso, y... no sí. pero este va a ser eh, más largo sí, 11.2 pulgadas o sea, 28 a... Sí, cuadrado también, 11.2. 28 puntos. por 28 centímetros. Pues 28, alguien... 28 con... y medio, creo. No me acuerdo cuánto es que era esa. Ahora de pronto estoy indica. diciendo el número mal. Sí, tú estás ahí mandando datos. Pero hoy no sé por qué... Sí, estás... Ya, ya, ya. 28.4, Ah, muy bien. Mi cerebro grande. hoy está... Te estás como volando. Nunca antes. Estás no volando. Cuando, cuando ¿Cuándo puedo... Que a ver, que va a ver. No, sí, más bien no me meto ahí ese <risa> campo minado. <risa> eh, Cuidadito. Sí, ya, ya, ya me fui, ya me fui. Eh, ¿Qué más podemos decirles? No, pues la campaña va a ser un eh, crowdfunding. Sí, como hemos tratado de hacer los libros anteriores, Exacto. como hemos logrado hacer, digamos, porque han sido eh, exitosas los libros anteriores. Eh, Les dejaremos saber por todo lado, por ¿Sí? Instagram, por Mensaje YouTube. de texto. Mensaje de texto, Al celular. correo. No, pero yo uh -huh. pensaba podemos mandar correos. Te timbramos correo. en la casa. Correos a las personas. Dejamos razón nos... con la Bessi. <ríe> Con la tienda del Correos barrio. a las personas que nos han escrito al correo eh, de Our Painted Lives. No, 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 eso no me gusta, linda. ¿No? No, yo, bueno, entonces... yo newsletter nunca, no. Eso a mí me fastidia el resto. Bueno, pero yo preguntaba, decía, ¿por qué hay gente que ha escrito preguntando por el libro? Sí, entonces, pero hay... Pues... hay... Ahí bueno, les... entonces vamos a mandar por todo lado, vamos a avisarles por todo lado. Menos, sin, ser, sin ser mamones. Menos por correo. Sí, es que mami, mira, mira. Entonces. Yo eh... siempre unsubscribe, o sea, me llega un correo de esos y, y espicho spam de una, o sea, Pero mandar además, spam. Esto no sería unsubscribe porque yo soy la que lo está mandando, o sea, no, no es bloquear. una máquina. Pues sí, pero bloquear. Bloquear a Daniela, por favor, de ah, una. Sí. No lo decía como algo malo, no quería hacerle spam a nadie. O sea, estaba pensando que si de pronto alguien quería saber. Estabas volando, linda. Escribir. Estabas volando y sugieres, o sea, volando con los ¿Lo artistas chilenos. Diciendo... Volando con los artistas chilenos. <risa> volando con la dimensión del libro. Y terminas diciendo que vas a spamear a todo el mundo. No, no, no spam. mi amor, se, acabó, correo... se acabó el reinado. No, iba a mandar un correo agradeciendo sí, no. por habernos apoyado. La y diciendo que íbamos a sacar muerto. un libro y ya, mm. o sea, no es como mm, spammy no, bueno, entonces no voy a mandar ningún correo eh, es que la no, no bueno, ya, pero les vamos a dejar ya saber no eh, cuando ya esté que va a ser eh, en un futuro muy próximo próximo, sí, cercano eh, y ya y ya sí ya voy a Colombia ah, no. No. y va a haber ¿Dos tipos de recompensas, se dice? Sí, sí. La, la primera es como la, la... O sea, 
el libro, uh -huh. simplemente el libro, sí. muy straightforward, muy, muy sencillo. Eh, y la segunda es una recompensa así como bonita, que es eh, sencillita, muy, muy también eh, eh, tipo lo que, digamos, eh, throwback a cosas que he hecho como en, en mi vida. Pero es, se llama como la edición de artista y, o sea, las personas que quieran apoyar con esa, simplemente eh, dicen qué artista quisieran que nosotros pintáramos y, eh, y ya. O sea, ma les mandamos un correo y les decimos, oigan, devuélvanos este correo con el nombre de, uh, de artista que quieren que pintemos y listo. Y entonces... ¿Y les... esa va a ser una pintura? Eso una sí. pintura de 10 por 10 pulgadas. O sea, 25 por... Punto cuatro por 25.4 punto cuatro. Grande, sí. grande ahí. No, eso sí lo googleé, la verdad. Pues sí, esa, es, esa era sencilla porque 2,54 es como sabido, no, que pues, es una pulgada. Y esa la googleé. Sí, esa, era, esta la tenía servida. La mi... tenía ser... Nunca confías en tu cabeza, ¿no? No, obvio no estoy diciendo eso. Nunca. No, iba a decir que yo... Para matemáticas, no estoy diciendo nada... ¿Eh? ¿Qué? Estás volviendo todo Uy, peor. me metí. No, Chao, hasta luego. <risa> Terminamos el... Eh... Estaba tratando de decir que eh, yo nunca hago cambio de pulgadas a centímetros, entonces no tenía presente. Ah, 2,54, sí. 2,54. Eso era lo que iba a decir. Perdóname, no, perdóname la vida. <risa> perdóname la vida. Nada de lo que dije es cierto. Uh -huh. So, um... Yes. So, uh, ¿Por qué dije así? No sé. So, um... Tim was saying, yes, it's sad the 24 hour session didn't save any New Year's goals on your side. Oh, uh, you start, Danny. Uh, I don't have, a, I don't think I have any. No, I mean, they, well, they to, don't have to be like to push through all the correspondence thing we have, yeah, without beating myself too much. That's my. Good, New yeah. New Year's goals. Uh, And two, sorry. Okay, good. Oh, good. Oh, look at you. And two, um, yeah. to be more constant with my artwork. Mm -hmm. And to be less afraid of the camera. Okay, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's a okay. lame one, but no, I mean, no, no. I'm, I'm being honest, so. No, it doesn't, you know. Mm. I don't know. I, I think I don't have more. Okay. Um, those are good ones. Those are really good yeah. ones. Yeah. Well, I think that that um, a bunch of those are things that that can be, you know, well, not controlled, but you can, you know, we together can work, you know, so that a lot of those are are um, achievable, achievable. I think. Yeah. So you know. Uh, I'll help out in whatever I can. Okay. Um, Yours. For me. But like. Like goals. Art goals, I think, because because I always I also add a. Ba -ba -ba I only. I only. Oh, another goal is to get more fluent in my English. Because I don't know. Fine. You're perfect. No, because I don't know. I get like super nervous. Perfect. And my thong just like. Your thong. Yeah. No. I <laughs> what, Danny? No. Oh my God! Woo! The temperature, <laughs> temperature here no, just uh, off anything. the roof. I, Nicolas. Danny, what are you? I mean, come on. Um, I think you speak perfectly. No, but that's a goal of mine. So. Yeah, but I think you you're wonderful. <laughs> you're absolutely wonderful. So, uh, I let me see, for me. Art, art. Oh, I'm wise. getting a dog. Okay, so do you want? Do you want to go? Do you want to <laughs> take some time? Maybe. <laughs> no. No, your turn. Because I think interrupting other people's like. Um, That's your you know, motto. Wishes. Yeah, I'm stealing your motto. So oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, uh, I, I think having like uh, I hope that I can um. I mean, aside from what you've said, because I think you, you have some shared ones, so particularly the one that we're going to do together. So I, I really hope that that, that one, um, that we, we begin to understand it and to feel comfortable 
while doing it because I think yeah. it would be very nice, very yeah. beautiful if we do that. So yes, I, I totally agree with you that that that's um, that that would be very nice. Um, I hope the book comes out. Oh, you know, yeah, well, I forgot that. Yeah, I hope that that's that that's that yeah. that ends up being whatever it should be. You know, yeah. I'm 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 usually I'm the sort of person that pushes up to some point, but then I always you know I'm not religious or spiritual, but I always tend to say like I I find comfort in saying you know what, whatever needs to happen will happen. Like mm -hmm. and, and and I don't think that's a way of of being complacent about things. Like I work super hard for things to happen. It's like if I want something to happen, I'll make my I'll make sure that I did the best that I could to give myself the best chance. Yeah, no, but I get for that to happen. I get you. Like whatever but would be, would I think, be. Yeah, that, or at least that I, you know, that um, that I can find enough peace of mind to accept whatever comes our way. Okay. You know that that's I always you know, I always hope for that. Um, and um, I I do have like a uh personal sort of interest in hoping that I can um I I do have like a project in my brain and I think I discussed it um I think it was in the 24 hours but um you know how how we were thinking like what could be like a cool show for uh, and and not show I mean we said we said show but it doesn't necessarily have to land as a show but um I don't know what you're trying to say. Yeah. So so I I've been thinking about um do you remember when I said that uh paintings based on my my childhood home, my mother's house yeah. would be kind of cool? Yeah. I think that would be a very cool idea to um like that would be a really nice direction for uh for a let's call it a body of work. Mhm. Mm so I think I hope that 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 can be the direction of what many of of the uh, paintings that uh, we're gonna do during the year um, go towards. Okay. I think that that would be super cool. And uh, another goal, like a maybe. Oh, that's a huge one, though. A personal one. Um. Like. No, I the, hope we. The dog. <laughs> no, getting a dog. Getting a dog would be very cool. Yes would be very cool it would be i mean we are we are a family danny yeah i think I you've that. you've always heard me say like if if i speak about no, you, you know samu fer and and yourself yeah. like you you are you know my family like mm -hmm. this this new definition of family but yeah. we we are family and i always kind of not separate but i always understand like my mother and my sisters, it's like a, a different kind it's of It's a family. different sort I of mean, family. It's like yeah. um uh but but we we are a family. But it would be nice since we we're not gonna have kids, it would be nice to have like a little, you know, four legged yeah. I'm the sort of person who doesn't quite call the dog a kid. I know yeah. this is a very sensitive thing. I know that people, you know, I don't wanna die on that hill, but I mean, having had kids Dogs are not kids, but I think you can love. I mean, I've certainly loved every single dog that has been part of my life. I can say with honesty that I've loved. Yeah. That I've loved. Like, I've, I have felt love for that, you know, being, for that, you know, little being that's alive in this world. So I, I would, you know, I would feel really cool in, in feeling that with you um not a, I don't, it's a, you know it's not a kid but like i said but i think we could we could shower it with love you know this dog for many years so that would be super cool i yeah. feel so yeah so yeah for sure for sure uh we're getting we're getting my sister a dog yeah. Um. We we haven't really talked about it because I was like super sensitive. No, also, but, we're not gonna talk about it. Don't worry. No, but still. We're not gonna jinx it. But it's still not here. It's still not here. And it's not gonna be here. No, no. We we there was a moment in time where that dog, where we would have spent 
Yeah, we were, we would have done the 24 hours with that dog, yeah. with that puppy. Not 24 hours. The 24 hours? Uh, the 24 hour oh, yeah. stream? We would have done that no, maybe. I thought you were saying like a 24 hour quote unquote challenge with yeah. the dog. And I was like, no, like the dog would have been here. Yeah. Today. But, so. uh, but that didn't work, didn't quite work out. But we're, you know, we have, uh, we have uh, another dog that's hopefully uh, coming up, and we hope everything goes well. Because yeah. my sister that, is is like, just super super not happy. Going yes, I'm to be able to see the dog because it's not gonna be with that. So. No, maybe it's some pictures. Yeah, dog, maybe so. maybe some pictures. Yeah, we want to we want to give that to my sister, um, and and she's very very excited. So. Uh, and so hopefully I, I wish that that works out yeah. really, really well. Yeah. I, I, it's very important for me to, for that to work really, really well. So hopefully that little puppy, uh, will be part of my sister's life in, um, less than a month. We'll see. Como se dice año en francés, Coco? Eh, es A-N-N-E con tilde y E. Anne. Listo, entonces te dicen. Bon Van Sant. Anne. No, Van Sant was here before. Oh. Uh huh. Wait, because now I'm gonna. So Van Sant said, "Hello, Daniel Nicholas. Happy New Year, Nick." Happy New Year Nicolas. to you, and Maisha. Of course. The Maisha. De la Noise. And uh, Nicole. Moison said mm -hmm. bon and Anne. Anne. Merci. Merci. Germán Rodríguez dice Gabriel. Hey, feliz año. Gabriel García, García dice, Grande. Eh, Esteban dice feliz año. Feliz año, Esteban. Sigue Esteban todavía en Colombia. Eh, no sé, pero sé que sé que hay planes de partir, creo. Pues claro, como así está en vacaciones. Ah, Esteban, es que Por me tienes que decir tibis. cuál Esteban. Ah, ya, 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 ya. No. Eh, supongo, sí, ellos empiezan ya más todavía, más tardecito. Un abrazo, Esteban, artista, joven, promesa. Eh... Ah, Gab ¿Qué pasó? No, que puse muy clarito un brochazo, qué pena. No me asusté. Gabriel Iván HG dice, ¿cuánto va a costar el libro? ¿Cómo será lo del Kickstarter? Ya pronto, cuando publiquemos lo de la campaña, ahí van a ver todo. El precio todavía no lo hemos dicho. No es como que no decimos el precio porque es... 100 mil dólares. No. No, 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 no. No, para guardarnos un poquito de información. Sí, porque Nicolás ya dio toda la información. Ahorita. Pero también explicarle a la gente que es proyectos que son financiados eh, sí eh, como de esta manera y que se sí. y que y en donde nosotros vamos a hacer todo el proceso de producción y de publicación pues no bueno producción a ver no, va a haber alguien que va a haber una imprenta que lo imprime pues sí pero no somos una editorial pero no somos una editorial no, no una estamos editorial. yendo a través de una editorial eh, todo el proceso de envíos empaques todo toda esa logística todo eso va a correr de nuestra parte Entonces, todo si eso se tiene que se entender que nosotros no podemos competir contra, no sé, Rizzoli o Tashen sacando un libro. O sea, nosotros sí. no, no somos eh, una, una casa pues, que publica de ese, de ese tipo de libros. Entonces, obviamente, pues para las personas que son conscientes de lo que son proyectos eh, autogestionados, digamos, uh -huh. saben que tienden a ser Como más son, los costos costosos. Son distintos, sí. sí. Eh, Gabriel, Iván también dice, se me escamparon los antiguos. Escaparon, dice que escamparon. Se me, se es me que estaba lloviendo y ya escampó. <risa> se me escaparon los anteriores, pero este no se me va a ir. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Eh, Iván Torres dice, felicidades con su proyecto, espero poder apoyarlos. Saludos, Dani y Nicolás, tengo que salir, pero mañana los escucho. Y si, no se, y si la gente no puede apoyar, no pasa nada. O sea, vamos a seguir sí. haciendo videos, compartiendo eh, cosas, o sea, todo el proceso de lo que estamos haciendo eh, con pintura, entonces el libro es simplemente una partecita digamos chiquita de lo que ha sido todo este proceso, que pues es igual importante para nosotros, pero si no se puede tranquilos, o sea, no, no pasa nada igual vamos a estar acá eh, 
Sandy Under the Sea. Oh, Sandy. Y Papo. Me alegra poder ver este video durante mi hora de lonche, aunque sea un poco. So excited for the book. Qué chévere. Eh, Tim said, Danny, there are some secrets on how to feel comfortable when speaking a foreign language, but they pretty much boil down to acting. Number one, think of yourself as acting like an actress and the role you're playing needs to be super comfortable when speaking the language. That's pretty good. In and you case, always English. You always wanted to sort of act. You've said it, Danny. No. Well, you said you kind of said it. No, I told you it it would be interesting to be like in the set of a movie or something like that, but not that I want to be an actress. I never wanted to be like to actress. act, to act some, well, I'm sorry if I if I misunderstood that then. No, 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 it's fine, but I mean I never like I dreamed of being a singer, but not an actress. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like I think act, acting is cool, but I don't know if I would be the best actress. I mean, and I would be a terrible singer, but I still would love to be a singer. So, number two, get a role model of someone that speaks the language in a way that you want yourself to be seen when you're speaking. Meryl Sofia Street. Vergara. I know. That's Sofia Vergara. Meryl Streep, for example. Oof. It's like Nicolas wants to make painting and acting and not a source of stress. Do, do the same thing with anything in your life. Number three, the only other thing beside these two are that you maybe have, have vocabulary, vocabulary, I think, that other people have given you. But it's not how you would choose to communicate yourself no but i mean and and i know that i always say like no i feel terrible speaking in english but i feel comfortable the only thing is that sometimes uh when i have to read and answer and like answer in english and then in spanish like my brain doesn't go that fast oh it's very <laughs> like, it, i'm getting used it is to very it. difficult and, and what i said to you before Yeah. That is like um, reading comments and answering to that, but also answering to you. Yeah. Nicolas, and then reading again the comments. like And, and me interrupting you of constantly. Course, that's like the worst part of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but yeah, but I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I would always have an accent. And I think you're perfect. That's what it is. But I think you can understand me. So, I think everyone can understand yeah, you. So That's perfect. Like, yeah. You know what? I'm going to change what? my goal. Yeah. Not to be more fluent, but to be more comfortable. With There the way, we go. Yeah, the way perfect. I speak in English. There we so. go. I think that's perfect. Um, so Alejandro Morales said, wait, what? Did I miss something? Since you're not going to have kids, Fed and Sam were not your kids. Oh, no, no. no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He was saying that we together, we're not going to have kids because... As you know, Nicolas is divorced. Yeah. And he had, like, someone first mom is his ex-wife. So we, together, we're not going to have yeah, kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to yeah. have a dog. So, <laughs> no, no, yeah, I yeah, yeah. I don't want to have kids, and he doesn't want to have more kids. So that's why he was saying that. But, of course, Fer and Samu are... Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nicolas... Do, those are my kids. Siblings, I was going to say. Kids. Siblings? <laughs> yeah. What is this, Game of Thrones? <laughs> What is going on? No, but many, but maybe some people uh, think that someone fit are, are, are your kids and don't. No, no. Those are, I think we've, we've, we're super open about yeah. those things. Yeah, but no, I'm, I'm divorced. I met Danny about a year after my divorce. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, Danny, uh, Danny and I, we talked about it ever since the beginning. And, and one of the reasons we're, we're together Um, you know, we, we said, I, you know, we weren't interested in, in my case in having more kids in Danny's case, she doesn't want kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was super, you know, important for us as a couple. Yeah, I'm not saying like, those were like bullet points, like the first night we met, No, but, but we talked about it. We had a, like a serious conversation. But that makes sense for us being together. Yes. Now. Yes. Because if I wanted kids, maybe that would be a problem. Though. That would be a bigger problem. So, yes. yeah. And Alejandro Morales is saying, oh, I did, did not know that. Sorry for getting into such private things. No, no, no we're, we're fine. We... No, 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 we're fine. Yeah. We're well, the, the other thing is like Danny and I, our relationship works because we are incredibly honest with each other, like, like maybe annoyingly honest with each other. 
but that I think that that makes it super powerful. And and one of the things that being honest with each other grants us, I feel, or at least makes us, um, and I really feel empowered by that. Mm -hmm. It just gives us the opportunity to be honest yeah. and um, and and like a yeah, really a hundred percent honest. Yeah, and and we have nothing to hide. Like we've spoken about how there's a difference in age in our relationship that you know we've never cared about, and that's totally fine. Um, we can't control what other people feel about that, but in in what concerns about us, like our family, for example, uh, Danny's parents, uh, Danny's sister, Danny's partner, uh, Danny's sister's part, Danny's, par <laughs> Danny's sister's partner. partner. <laughs> no, Danny's sister's partner, mm -hmm. your grandmother, then your other side of the family, your grandparents, your aunts, your cousins. Like I've met all of them. Yeah. I think they're all super happy for us. And in my side of the family, no obviously someone fed. Um, my ex-wife knows Danny, and they they you know they they have a good relationship. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, but f super important for me, my kids, my sisters, my three sisters, my brother, my mother, like every You're single doing person. Like a super long I know, but every <laughs> single person that we care about that loves us, they love us together. Yeah. They love us. Like they accept us. They love us. They they're super happy for us. They've never seen us happier. They've ne they've never seen us better. And that's what matters. Like, yeah. honestly, that that's the one thing that matters. But I think, you know, regardless of that, I think we have a healthy, a very, very healthy relationship, yeah, like a super, super healthy relationship. So and, and one of those things that that grants us, and that's what I was going to say at the beginning, is the ability to just, you know, if you ask something, I mean, hopefully it's not something that's offensive. But if you ask something genuinely, like we have no issue. I mean, if I'm sure there are things that are super, super personal, but um, but no, we we have no issue in in, in answering with yeah. honesty things that we feel comfortable with. So. And I understand that other people might feel um uncomfortable, but we we never do. No, with that. So. No. So I again, if unless it's something that's trying to be offensive. Um, or that you're just trying to push buttons that are not really there. Yeah. Like, don't, I, I would just say, don't waste your time trying to find something that's not there because. And I would well, also say, if that was the case, I wouldn't read the question. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The good thing about Danny is that she's moderator. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, we, we just let those things fly. So, but in what concerns us and for you guys in what, uh, hopefully, the guy, the people that care about us should know is that, no, we are surrounded by a super loving family, like large family, super, well, larger on your end. My yeah. end, well, no, with my sisters and my, you know, nephews, yeah, nieces and large, nephews. Yeah, it's pretty large. But um, but everyone that loves us, friends, family, they love us. So we, we are super, super happy about that. So Yeah. Mm. Ho was saying, we understand you perfectly, Danny. You have nothing to worry about. Thank you so much. Um, Tim said, Danny, all the tips I have given are about feeling comfortable. Fluency is something that other people can say about you, but you will never feel it. Feeling comfortable is much more important. And awesome. I agree. Yeah. yeah. But thank, thank you for those tips. Yeah, that was a great tip. Yeah. I never, I've never done that. So. You know, you know what... Um, uh, I met an incredibly talented. Let me let me get her last name right because I don't want to, I don't I don't want to be um, an idiot and just say some other last name. But um, Wendy Arden. So I was, thank God because I was going to say Wendy Martin. But Wendy Arden, I met her in Rome, and she's like one of the most amazingly talented, super super sweet intelligent she was intel like crazy intelligent like one of those people that you meet and you go like wow mm -hmm. um uh, like a insanely good watercolorist i mean she's a, a just a ridiculous drafts person but just amazing watercolorist if you don't follow her do yourselves a favor and follow wendy arden in in instagram but it was so funny how we were having these, we had little time. I mean, what felt like little time, but we were having these like super cool, deep conversations about um, making art. Mm -hmm. And and I think she was asking what follows, like what follows, what, what, what is to come. And I was telling her that I, that I didn't really know, you know, that I wasn't really clear about 
the direction that I wanted to, to take this because what is clear in my mind is that I don't want to do paintings that look, not, not that look. I don't want to do paintings that are um, fueled by the same things that I did paintings, that fueled the paintings that I did um, seven, eight, ten years ago. I don't. That's what I have. Like, in my mind, that makes a ton of sense. And uh, And she said something that was ridiculously simple, and at the same time, it was super, like eye-opening, I guess. Um, and she was like, why don't you paint the paintings that you want to paint? Like, show me, like, show me through a painting that that is the painting that you would, that you would have always wanted to paint. Mm -hmm. And it sounds ridiculous because that's like, that should be every single painting that we make, but that's not true. Mm -hmm. Like when, when you've painted enough, you realize, oh, there's a ton of paintings that I, that I've been wanting to paint or that I've been put like you put on the, on, on the, um, um, what do you call that on the burner on the, uh, on the stove? Like you, you just on the back burner and you always say like, Oh, I'll get, I'll get to that at some point. I'll get to that at some point, but it's always like in the background, but she was like, just make the painting, like show me what you want to paint by painting the painting that you've always wanted to paint. Like it is that simple maybe. Yeah. Like it is that simple. And, um, I thought that that was brilliant because instead of thinking like, oh, you know, I have this project and, and it has to answer to this thesis and it's about all of these things. Yeah. Like answer the simple it's just, question. Yeah. It's just know? like, just paint the painting that you've like, let that painting speak for exactly what you want to paint. Yeah. Like make that painting. Don't go, don't try to start with the like smaller tangential ones like um just really just say this is what i wanted to paint all along and that just made it super simple and clear for me i i thought that that was brilliant like yeah. i don't know if it's one of those things that it's like a person tells you what you needed to hear mm -hmm. and then it's like super cool because you you realize that's what i needed um or if it's just a brilliant thing in and of itself i don't know i don't care but it's it was just useful for me at that moment. So yeah, so I think that that's that was super cool. So Leah said, "What's her name? Wendy? What? Wendy Arden. So A R T I N. Oh yeah, because wish list zero one one said Wendy Arden. Arden is it? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Alejandro Morales said, "How not?" How not to love you both. You're opening your lives in such a way. Thanks for trusting us. That's super nice. Thank you. Eh, Jesús de la Osa dice, hoy el papel es más grande. ¿Hay alguna razón para ello? Ay, sí, que no, no hemos hablado del sí, papel no, no llegaron, sí, porque lo mencionamos al comienzo. Ah, al principio, sí. Sí, es que tenemos, pues no es que tengamos un nuevo setup ni nada. ¿Podría mostrarlo con la cámara? Eh, ¿Puedes? ¿El sí. Lente? Eh, bueno, se ve más grande, es como más potecudo. Pero lo muestro, ¿no? Si Me quieres. Lo mismo. No, si quieres, si quieres, está bien. Pero, no, estoy usando los... Eh, estábamos hablando como de que hemos considerado, habíamos considerado comprar un lente nuevo para la cámara, que puede ser más, un poquitico más versátil para pinturas más grandes, pero pues esos lentes, dale linda. Pero, pero pues esos lentes son re costosos. O sea, son lentes hay veces de mil dólares, ochocientos, novecientos dólares. Entonces, pues la inversión es, es grandísima cuando uno, cuando uno está como pensando en comprar algo así. Eh, yo soy súper inconsistente porque si pienso en una estatua chévere que puede valer lo mismo. No, no valen lo mismo, pero, pero siempre soy como, no, esa estatua sí, obviamente la necesito. Eh, pero el caso es que eh, lo que hicimos no fue no comprar el, el lente los lentes nuevos sino que yo tengo lentes viejos de una de una Canon que yo usaba antes y compré fue un adaptador compré fue un adaptador para la Sony de que le sirve a los lentes EF de Canon no es perfecta o sea hay, hay cosas de foco que no son perfectas pero por lo menos ya tenemos un poquitico más de eh, distancia focal. Porque teníamos nuestro lente normal es de 55 y este es un lente de 35. Entonces podemos hacer pinturas un poco más grandes que me dan la posibilidad de ser como un poquito más expresivos. Eh, y esto pues en, 
aras de tratar de ver cómo empezamos a, tra a poder eh, acercarnos hacia hacer eh, los eh, registros de pinturas que van a ser un poco más, un poco, un poco, énfasis en un poco. No, es que ahora la gente piensa que vas a empezar a pintar Parece fachadas de edificios. Sí, un poco más grandes, eh, o sea, sin llegar a ser grandes, es que también hay veces, la gente tiene que entender que cuando hacemos pinturas grandes y si digamos las queremos vender, también está como siempre esa reflexión de, bueno, y a cómo vamos a vender una pintura mucho más grande, eh, cuál va a ser el costo del envío de una pintura mucho más grande, o sea, hay resto de cosas que empiezan a... a complicar esa, esa ecuación y no es simplemente decir, ay, pues píntela, ¿no? Pues, pues sí, sí, pero pues... No, pues, no más los materiales, eh, el no. tiempo... Ahorita les muestro cuánta pintura tengo yo, o sea, para que les dé risa a ver cuánta pintura realmente tengo yo, en, en, o sea, en este momento cuánta pintura tengo. Eh, entonces, no, son cosas complicadas, pero que las podemos ir haciendo poco a poco, poco a poco, Ahí sí, cero estrés. Yo no voy a dejar que nadie me estrese en, en obligarme a hacer una pintura ¿Ya grande. Estoy Yo no, ya no, estoy estresado. Sí. No voy a dejar. No me voy a aguantar. Eh, tranquilo, Nicolás. Eh, pero eh, voy, a, voy a ir despacito. Despacito como hacia... No, no me interesa hacer una pintura grande por hacer una pintura grande. Uy. Linda, aunque tengo una pintura que sí quiero hacer de tamaño natural, uh -huh. que yo creo que sería un hit Porque si la logro hacer. Si tú quieres no, no la voy a hablar. Pero por... espera, el bastidor Señora. mío, el de la de dos metros. No, tendría que ser un ah, tamaño okay. súper específico. Ah, ok. O sea, si tendría ha que hacer, la... te diría además, ten, tendría que hacer fotos uh -huh. primero. Como una sesión de fotos. ¿Pero de qué es? Perdón que te interrumpí. Es que si digo... No, entonces no digas, no digas. Mejor, por me favor. La ca me cago la como el... La sorpresa de hoy no la daño. Sí, es de este tipo de cosas que me encantaría hacerla y cuando la haga, como que decir, oh, me salió la pintura que quería sí. hacer. Pero entonces no la digas. Y creo que la voy a hacer. Listo. Pero entonces voy a cambiar rápido de pregunta sí. para que no hables. Para eh, Fernando Civils Ferrer dice, ¿para cuándo la sesión de 48 horas? No empiece, Para... no, Nunca. ¿qué le pasa, Fernando? Sí, no, 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 no. Liad was saying, get a cat. A dog is like having a toddler, whereas a cat is like having a teenage that likes to spend time with you occasionally. A having a cat is like having a stranger in your house. And Toe says, Exactly, cats are sick. They are weirdly passive aggressive though. No, that's yeah. too much. That's way too complicated for me. And I think a dog is like dumb, dumb and loves you. Yeah. Period. Period. So they're not dumb. Nothing. They're well, well no, dumb in the sense dumb, dumb in the most beautiful sense of the word. Like they love you. Yeah. They, they are binary. Yeah. You treat them with love, they love you back. There's nothing complicated about it. There's nothing weird about it. It's like, dude, if you take me out to have a run, a walk, If you just throw a ball, I will love you forever. Give me food, yeah. rub my belly. I will love you regardless of where you are in and your life. Food. Anything, yeah, feed yeah. me and that's it. I think Danny and I love relationships that are not complicated. We don't shy away from things that are complicated. No, no, of course not. And also, I mean, but we, you know, we love dogs. But so we like, yeah, we're we, dog people. Yeah, so. we're not thinking about like, Between cats or dogs, what we want, because we know we want dogs. Yeah, cat pe cats deserve cat people. Yeah, and the, a dog deserves ass. Ass? What, <laughs> Danny? No, what no. the hell? No. Oh, Jesus entonces? Christ. Dime, how do I say it? A dog deserves, deserves us. There we go. It was the same thing well, I said. The other one before. sounded more buddy. <laughs> but like no more uh, <laughs> kind like toe says are you going to try attacking that tree bark no it is lovely it is it's amazing but i think um okay we could talk just a little bit uh, about the painting yeah. yeah i just think the uh, earthy oh it's okay it's okay no 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 but that's, that's fine Um, I think that uh, there's, in, in Pippin's work, 
there is such a grounded feel to that work. I think, Danny, could you go to downloads? I think I downloaded one that's just, it is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful painting. Let me see. Oh, I'm not wearing my glasses. Uh, the one with the interior, is, it, is there one with the interior with like red socks maybe? Yeah, that's not, not, don't space. Look at that. Could you share that painting? Ah, oh, the stove and the, oh my God, look at that painting. And you know what was weird? And, and I'll get to, forgive me, I just go, all, I always go out on like branches, but I'll, I'll land this idea somewhere. Um, I was looking at Pippin's work and, uh, and I've loved his work for years, but uh, I, you know, this thought, this inevitable thought would enter my brain and saying like, oh, the, the painting that Danny's going to show you, like I immediately, immediately thought, oh, that's, that looks like a Vuillard. That looks like a Vuillard for sure. And it just feels like that. But then I, in my mind, I was like, no, don't, don't. Like, it's like, take your messy, like Eurocentric. I mean, I'm not saying anything like European friends, you know, French friends that we have. We love you. But I think you guys understand what I'm saying. It's like, we can't justify painting just because it makes us feel like something that we're more familiar with. And sadly, we're, what we're most familiar with, it's like very Eurocentric you know, inherited painting. And when I was looking at, at that painting, are you guys, okay. When I was looking at that painting, I was like, no, this is so Pippin. Like this feels so Pippin. That stove, oh my God, I'm dying with that stove. Like literally right now I'm talking, like my, my belly hurts just thinking of that stove. And that stove is more powerful than we love in my brain. Like that is the truth. That is a hundred percent the truth. So. I was getting mad at myself thinking, why, why would I try to justify how good someone is, someone is by saying that it reminds me of one of the most amazing painters ever, which is uh, Vuillard. So I was getting mad. I was getting pissed at myself. It's like, don't, don't compare. Don't do that. Don't do that to this painting. Don't validate it through, um, yeah, through other, others work. And, and it's sad that it's like a, you know, European, like a French painter, albeit one of the most amazing painters ever. Like for me, Willard has to be in like my top 10 favorite painters ever, ever. I think he's one of the most incredible painters in history of painting. So for, by, by, for sure, one of the most fascinating painters in the whole of painting. But I was pissed at myself that I was like, why don't, don't bring him into that conversation, into this conversation. Like it doesn't have to be part of this conversation. Like, e even if it's for, even if it's for something that is seemingly good, which is like saying, oh, wow, it's so good that it reminds me of Willard. No, no, no. And, and I have, to, I had to tell myself, stop, stop. Like, because when I do that, I am sadly not seeing things for what they are, but I'm seeing them through a lens of what, you know, other painting that has already been and has been, you know, validated and confirmed by history and by critics and by institutions as being like some of the best, you know, painting in, in for sure the 20th century. And, you know, quite frankly, in all of painting history. So I, I was like, don't, don't do that. I know that that's like my impulse and that's me painter just kind of butting my my like my painter brain just butting its fucking head in like into the conversation and saying like oh this is good because it reminds us of this um or or it's like oh it's this meets this it's like a horrible reductive way of of, yeah. of seeing you know paintings like true paintings worth and um i had to stop myself and say no no this is beautiful in its own right and it feels different and i had to try and you know, ask my brain, like, how does it feel different? And even if I don't have like a, like a cogent answer right now, like I have to ask my brain, like how, why, why this, you know, this particular painting feel like it's different, feel like, you know, yes, sure. It reminds you of, of Willard, like point taken, like, let's move on. What else? What else? Why, you know, why is there so much power in this? And it just, I don't know. It's a, like, I have no words. I, and if I have, if I had words, I would be a writer, not a painter, but um, it just feels like, like, 
you know, grounded. I mean, when paintings feel like life, when a painting explains life, a very specific slice of life that can only be explained by the person that lives it, that experiences it, that perceives it, and that can just beautifully, gorgeously translate it through painting, then I don't think there's anything more powerful than that in this world. I mean, I, I just can't comprehend anything being as powerful. And that's what I feel. So it, it's really, it's, it's, um, it's amazing when, when you push yourself to say, just try to make an effort. Try to make an effort to see things for what they are. Don't don't justify them. Even again, even if you're doing it with the best of intentions, just trying to say, "This is amazing because it reminds me of so and so." Like like don't did, like in my brain. I was like, "Don't do it. Don't. It's not worth it. It's not. You're you're never going to get anywhere. You need to get to by by just confirming what you're confirming that you love Willard. That's all you did. You're reducing another artist." to a conversation about Vuillard, but all you're saying is that other artist doesn't matter. What matters is that I love Vuillard. Like that's the way I express how much I love this. But again, I'm not making, like if I do that, I'm just making like half the homework. Like I, I'm just um, being content with like a, a super easy answer. Um, so so yeah, all, all I can come up with right now, at least right now, and 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 maybe if I educate myself a little bit more, um, maybe on Pippin's life and maybe on um, on the just the way I feel about you know when I see uh, his work, uh, maybe I can have like a, a a more sophisticated answer. But for now, um, for now being a very very guttural, I feel it's it's my only hope and. Um, and all I can say is like that earthiness, that kind of just just rawness, realness, whatever you want to call it, just it, like rooted, deeply rooted um, uh, quality of that painting. I felt, OK, this has to be earthy, you know, in, in this painting, it has to be earthy. It has to be just all of these tones that are just um, uh, almost like, you know, I was trying to look for a entecar. I think it's a good word. I mean, it's it's a, it's it's usually like a dirty. I mean, I'm not saying dirty word as in it's as in um, an offensive word or. or um, it says entwined. Entwined, entecar. I think it's it's no, it's probably sound. I know what entwined means, but I, it's not quite the word that I'm looking for. Mm. No. Interweaved. Like. Interweaved. In, yeah, interwoven maybe. Uh, no, that's not quite it. I don't know. But because entecar means, yes, interwoven, yes, intertwined, but it's the ability of something that is dirty. Is, is the ability that something that is dirty, that something that's dirty has of making something else dirty. So, so there is this kind of darker force, not bad, but just this darker force that's making everything kind of dirtier and dirtier and grounder. And to me, maybe dirtier doesn't mean what other people would probably feel when they say dirty when referring to a painting. To me, I've never, ever, ever felt that dirty is a bad word in painting. Like muddy or dirty, none of those are bad things in, in my brain in painting. So I wanted that. I wanted some of that just to be everywhere. So it's a very almost like simple singular painting it's just um it's uh it's about earth and person being one earth and artist being one and i think that there is a sense of oneness in his work like there's this just a and you can only achieve that through just a very through simplicity I, I think like I yearn for that as an artist. I don't think I'll ever get to that in my lifetime, but uh, that is my driving force. I It will never look like Pippin's work for sure. Our, our lives could not be any more different, but I like I dream of that with my work, that, that feeling of just everything just being like every single element of that composes the painting 
being justified by the painting itself. Like you, do, there's no doubt in your brain when you're looking at something. No doubt, nothing. I think that that's those are some of the most powerful paintings in the world. Where when you look at them and you just you just know that every single like atom of that painting has a reason for being, and you just you don't really need to know what what reason that is, but you. But you know that there is a reason because that's why the painting exists. Like that's why the painting is so powerful. Like it's almost like the reason is the 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 product, like the the end itself. I don't know. I'm just like I'm probably uh, trying to explain something with um with words that I'm not. I'm probably not capable of explaining. But of, or or I'm trying to explain something that I'm not capable of understanding really. But um. But I understand that that's the struggle that I want to go through, and I feel that you know this this sort of um, this contrast that's there and this head that just you know very solemnly disappears, but not because it's being swallowed up by something that it's opposed to, but that it just wants. It feels comfortable there. It feels comfortable in the midst of of all these um, other tones. I feel it echoes wonderfully what what his you know work and life is about i mean i i don't know if i'm capable of, of through a painting um speaking about the the you know the wholeness and the complexity of his life but um but i'd like to believe that i can through through a painting i can have a small experience you know um where i learn from from him and his work and it ends up being translated into this. So, yeah, I think that if I started to separate all that texture, I think it's too much. I think it's too much. I think then it then I break this the, like this bigger wave that is swallowing everything up. Um I, and if I break it up, pop, 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 maybe in the photo it's, it's just it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful backdrop for that photograph. Um but it for the painting, I think that it's um it would just create unnecessary, like an unnecessary rhythm, like busyness that that I think would would end up um, um, just trapping the face instead of of letting it just flow through the uh, through the rest of the painting. At least that's my again in terms of image making, that would be my assessment. So I'm gonna leave it there. I think it's a very um, sensible. I like it. I actually think it's a it's a really nice portrait. I think it's very very sensible, and, and that's as as best as I, I could do. You know, when watching, you know, when looking at Horace Pippin's work from from you know outside looking in, because I think we're all outsiders when we look at his work. He's not the outsider. He's this is not outsider art. Like he's not this artist that is um, that we have a hard time placing, and he is suddenly you know in a group of people that lie beyond our definition what we you know we illustrated folk we educated people have defined as art as the you know as the principles of art as the philosophy of art as, as the parameters of art like fuck that no we are the ones that are outside looking into this brilliant you know this brilliant mind um uh just feeling comfort through painting i think that that's you know that's the only position I can have, and that's the only thing that can drive uh, a painting like this. So, yeah, I think it's nice. I think it's a nice, um, a nice uh, painting. I'm not saying I'm not going to say it's a nice homage. I I don't feel I'm capable of of. Uh, I'm not the right artist or the right person to pay homage in that sense. But um, but it, I I would categorize it as the most honest and deepest of fan art <laughs> there is i feel i i feel very comfortable when doing you know fan art that comes from the heart so yeah so this is just a, an opportunity to say wow i love you know i love what artists like him remind me of you know and so yeah this yes sorry dan no, but that now, okay. No, no, now. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. That looks like I'm, I'm watching it on the screen. It's a little washed out, I think. 
but that's fine. I think it's the nature of our lights too. But I think, what do you think, Danny? Should we leave it? Yeah, I think it's cool. I like okay, it a lot. Okay, awesome. So today was a, sorry, today was a nice day. We, um, we, we got back on the horse. We got After back sleeping, in a bigger horse because it's a oh, bigger surface. Yeah, there we go. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was tough. We were like, okay, we should get back to work today, and it's always kind of scary. I don't know why it always feels a little scary, but um, I mean, I don't know if we can even say get back to work because we worked like four days ago. I know. So it's not like we got vacations kind of, and now we're gonna. Oh get yeah, back yeah, to work. oh yeah. We we came back no. with a tan. <laughs> yeah, we have tan lines, and uh, we all we did was drink like piña coladas. I mean, I I, <laughs> I felt like we um we end never, the stream. Yeah. I closed my eyes and and now I you're like here. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm sitting here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We haven't rested no. like really rested no. in a very long time. I feel in two years. In yeah. two years, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Danny and I have only been to, we've we've only been to Menorca together, which was a work trip. No, together, Villa hmm? Leiva. Well, yeah, that I had like diarrhea for like three days. <laughs> yeah. Danny was like surprising me with a trip here it was to like Villa Leiva, which is a very beautiful a town. Small um, trip, yeah. Yeah, and I got sick the first night and had like diarrhea for the next three no, days. No, but I was sick too. Remember? Because oh I, yeah. I, Got allergies. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I super sexy I trip, by the way. Took the um, uh, medicine for yeah, allergies. Yeah, like antihistamines. But then I forgot, and I uh, you had like a wine. glass, like oh, a bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> you were dying. I could, yeah, I couldn't wake up. I was like, I don't yeah. know what's happening, but I can't open my eyes. Yeah. yeah and we so should good. say like this is no, no but we were like uh, we were we had been together for like what a year maybe mm -hmm. at that point or not yeah. even yeah maybe a year. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. And um, or less, maybe. Less, yeah, less, because that was Semana Santa, and I think that June oh. would have been a year. Oh, so yeah. Not so not even a year, a year, but we were like super close from the start. Yeah. Uh, and the room that we were in, like the bathroom, was just like a wooden door with like a humongous no, space on top. <laughs> so the, here's me, you know, traveling with Danny with like you know full blown like diarrhea. As bad as it sounds. And Danny just outside feeling terrible. But, you know, I tried opening the faucet. And then at some point I was like, come on. Like, you but know. I wasn't feeling bad because I had to be there. But because you were feeling Because bad. you had to hear all of that. No, because no, you were like, oh, put some music on. Yeah, I was like, turn on the TV as loud as you can. And she was like, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Like, we're past that. We are so beyond that. Yeah. So, um, so I gave you a concert. That was <laughs> not my favorite concert. But I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want your money no, back? No, no, but you were super sick. That I was, was bad. Sick. It was pretty bad. Yeah. It was pretty bad. Anyways, Anyways I what better way to end the? Um... Overshare. Oh yeah. But... Yeah. It, you know what I say? If we can end any every stream with the diarrhea story, it was a good stream. Okay. Um, okay, so we're good. they're saying, yes, um, Alejandro Morales says, Danny's got a new chair. Uh, oh, no, no that's this the, is the one that I used for the streams. This is a chair we have in the living room, yeah, like a metal chair. Yeah, it's a metal chair. And the other one is my work working chair. chair, yeah, yeah, it's like a gamer chair, yeah, but not a great gaming chair, just like you know, that's but it's more comfortable than this one. The, so the ones that you can get here. Seeing the other one uh, more than this one. Yeah? Yeah. You, you, you felt it today? Yeah. A little uncomfortable? Yeah. Yeah, because this is like, that's a hard chair. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they can Yeah, I don't know. That, but yeah. It's super I mean, it's metal. Yeah. You were just proving that it's metal. <laughs> <laughs> eh, Walter Núñez dice, Hola, existen directos en español, así como los am amarres en español los hacemos mezclados super mezcladitos sí sí hablamos español inglés si sí, hay preguntas en español español pero los invitamos a que vean Dani tiene toda una playlist de todos eh, sí. los videos todos los martes de español que hicimos durante los dos años o sea no no, no estoy diciendo por favor entonces vayan a esa obviamente no, no, no. tratamos de ser no, pero... balanceados cuando hacemos estos lives y siempre ter... siempre siempre hablamos español e inglés pero pueden lives. pueden ir allá y hay un recurso súper bonito de, de sí, resto de videos en de español videos, por si los quieren ver sí y ya listos 
Yeah, so thank you everyone. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you uh, we'll tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. And have a great rest of the day. <laughs> nice, nice, Danny. Nailed Bye. it.